Hello, everybody. For those who've joined me before, if, you, uh, if you're paying attention, we've got a different background tonight. Uh, I'm doing a live sale, live on location from the Rustic Fox in North Aurora, Illinois. And we've got a great variety of items that's going to be in the sale tonight. And going to try and make it run as smoothly as possible uh, with so many different vendors available. We pulled a ton of content and uh, already messing things up. So uh, we've got uh, fun nights tonight. Thanks for everyone who's already signed in. Oh, we got somebody new, uh, Punisher Woodworking. I don't recognize you. So, or no, I actually do. I recognize the logo. Uh, welcome back, uh, Michelle. Uh, definitely welcome you back as well. Uh, thanks for coming. Uh, Angela, uh, one of our Chicago locals. Katie, definitely help for all your, I uh, appreciate all the support you've given my channel and uh, the promotion that you've been putting in for this event as well. I'm not at home, so I haven't, I don't have all my uh, stuff set up for my camera. Uh, Rebecca Higgins, welcome back. Trisha from Sandy and Otto, uh, thanks for joining because I, Trisha also does her own live sales and uh, hope, I haven't, have, haven't had a chance to catch one yet, but definitely uh, we'll be watching for it. Judy, thanks for coming back in, Judy. Side Street Market, uh, she has returned. Side Street was one of our vendors that was in one of my joint sales. And that's kind of the way tonight's gonna work. Um, it's me, you're stuck with me live and I've got to figure out my camera here. Um, but I'm going to be providing uh, the variety of about, mm, I think it ended up being about two dozen vendors uh, that we pulled from. So you're going to have a wide variety, much more variety than what I typically offer. And uh, some great prices, some great uh, selections. And the best part uh, for the group sale aspect is we will be able to combine shipping. So the Rustic Fox uh, does some great marketing, some great promotions. Definitely follow them on Facebook and on Instagram uh, as they promote items throughout the store. You can buy directly from the store and they will ship to you. So worked with them to do this group event. And tonight we will have all of the items that are being shown, again, are from a variety of vendors. We will be able to combine shipping so that everything you get is shipped in one box. Uh, also new to me, they have some special shipping arrangements with UPS. So everything will be shipping UPS. And uh, hopefully even for some of the larger items, they've got some great uh, pricing that they are passing on to you as buyers. So uh, if you're new to my channel, it'll work the same way as all the other live sales. Even though I'm on location, I do apologize. There might be a little background noise. Somebody's jingling their bells. Uh, so we are, everyone's getting ready for Christmas. No apologies. You know, we've all got to get ready for Christmas. Uh, so you're going to have some background noise. Uh, my camera's a little bit different. I forgot to bring my microphone. So I'm working off of the computer mic. Hopefully it'll all work. And if it does go well, Maybe we'll do this again. Uh, but again, if you're new, the way this will work, this is a sale. Because I am in a, a, a vendor mall uh, with all these vintage items, they are already priced. And I'm simply selling them at the price they're already marked. There's no markups. There's no special charges. Uh, the price that I give you is the price for the item. And then you will uh, need to pay shipping on top of that. So if you have never ordered from me before, what you'll need to do is send me an email. Uh, I will should do that right now. I'll send my scroll my banner across uh, the screen here. Uh, send me an email with your shipping information. I will coordinate with the store. They will package that up. They they will invoice you. So for those of you who have purchased from me before, it works the same way to claim your items, but the invoice will not come from me. It will come from the store. Uh, but again, it's because you get the benefit of, unlike my other group sales, this one we get to combine shipping. So hopefully you can take advantage of that and you will receive their invoice. I think they use the Square system to do invoicing, uh, but it'll still be via email and you can use whatever credit card you want uh, to be able to use that uh, just like you do when you pay my invoices. It'll just come from the Rustic Fox. And again, follow them on Instagram and Facebook. Rustic Fox Home is their tag. Uh, and you'll be able to see even a more variety of vendors. I've tried to specialize or highlight just the vintage items, pulled a couple of vintage inspired items just for a little bit of uh, a mix. I have definitely had a lot of vendors here that were interested and excited to be part of the sale and try to give you some variety. Uh, also helping me tonight, I do not have the traditional Huckster Helper, but I have Huckster Helper 2.0, Suzanne McLean, who happens to also have a vintage mall here, number 17 vintage. Uh, so she has a booth here in the mall. So she is on hand. She helped me uh, pull all the items, price all the items, tag them. I didn't have to price them, which was nice. 
uh, but get them available. So some of the items from tonight's sale will be from me, some will be from her booth, but the bulk of the items are from everybody else. Uh, so again, thanks everyone for joining us tonight. Hey, Barb, thanks for winking oil, winking owl. I always want to say winking oil for some reason. Uh, I do not know if, I uh, don't think I've got any restaurant wear for you tonight, but hopefully there'll be some fun stuff. Uh, Gab Gabrielle White, uh, representing our Canadian contingent tonight. Um, Carolina Princess was another uh, another seller that was on a group sale. I did five group sales in a row for October for my one year anniversary. This time uh, should have been a regular sale, but I had the opportunity uh, to work here in the, in the mall tonight uh, because it was one of their nights for vendors to work on their booths. So again, if you just joined, apologize for any uh, extraneous noise you might hear. Um, it's just vendors getting ready to uh, make their make their booths ready for Christmas. So we are gonna get some started. Got quite a bit of Christmas tonight, but also just a wide variety of vintage. Uh, I've got some moderators on hand. Uh, definitely, if you have any questions, uh, Rustic Fox is located in North Aurora, Illinois, which is a far Western suburb of Chicago. So again, we will be adding shipping, just take that into consideration. But being from the Midwest, it tends not to be too expensive regardless of where we ship. So we are gonna get things started. Uh, first thing within my reach happens to be a piece of vintage uh, jewelry. And so we've got a, a brooch that has a floral motif built into it. This is from Kathy's Creations. She has her booth, uh, a couple booths down from me. And if you follow me on Instagram, you've actually seen me highlight a couple things in her booth. Uh, this one's a little bit different. I'm saying it's a brooch, but it has a slightly different type of clip. So I don't know if it's more of a dress clip uh, what type of, it's not actually a pin, it is a pressure clasp. So it is, I don't know if that helps age it, you know, specify the age. Um, it is tagged uh, with her tag, but I'm not sure about the other individual marks within there. Uh, so it's got this brass tone. It is priced, and I will say, if you uh, have a good enough um, screen that you can see these tags, ignore the number on the tag. That is not the number we will be using for uh, claiming tonight. Uh, you need to put the claim, claim the, the number that I give you is what you need to put into the chat. It is not the number on the little price tag. That's something specific for within the booth. So just in case you can see that, uh, but we do have a uh, little booth brooch is available. It is $15 and you can claim that by giving me number 36, $15, 36 for the uh, costume jewelry brooch. All right. Uh, next item is a piece, a piece of jewelry that I admittedly don't have, or I'm not jewelry, a piece of glass that I admittedly don't have all that often. It is Murano. And uh, the reason I know it's Murano is because it actually still has its label. So you've got this little Murano flower motif piece of glass. It has uh, some iridescence uh, built into the floral pieces. You can see the black Murano sticker upside down. You can see the black Murano sticker on um, the individual piece. And it has a short stem which allows it to actually sit so the flower itself opens up. It does have a very small receptacle in there, so you would be able to um, you would be able to put maybe a small uh, air plant or something in there. But really, this is just a decorative piece all on its own, and this is uh, still has the tag from the maker. So it is Murano, but it's uh, Crystallaria Arzanis, made in Italy. So we have the original uh, tag as well. So I carry a lot of glass and I do a lot of glass in these live sales, but I typically don't have Murano and certainly not Murano that still has its tag. So we've got Murano glass. It is uh, $15. If you had seen the price tag, that's already on there. $15. And if you would like the piece of Murano, it is number 63. Murano number 63. And are you following in the chat to see if Claim, see who's cleaning it too. Can so you? Far. Okay. If you can do that for me, I would appreciate it. I'm yeah. trying to watch it here, but I have a little bit of a lag yeah. in the uh, in the stream in the in the live stream. I'm using Streamyard, which I always use, um, but I don't know if the internet maybe not as as strong. So I've got a little bit of a delay. Uh, but found again, uh, who also was a member of one of our live sales, found again uh, picks up the piece of Murano glass number sixty three. So thank you uh, very much uh, for picking that up. All right, uh, the next piece I've got is getting into some Christmas. And sorry, I'm about 
you know, 50 yards from the saw. So I apologize, we've got a little noise in the background. Uh, these are uh, pieces that I've seen done before. It was one of those cases that when Suzanne and I looked at these, I'm not sure necessarily there's a lot of age to them. This style is that folded and then roll, curled paper. So the technique's been around, you know, since 60s, 70s. I remember having some of these growing up. These, I think, are more modern uh, manufactured versions of them. Uh, it actually does have a tag on here that says Acacia Creation, so I'm pretty sure these are more modern. But I'm setting these up as a pair uh, because this booth uh, was a, had a variety of these, and they were kind of some cool-looking pieces that I thought would make a nice uh, pair available for adorning your Christmas tree. So we've got these two paper ornaments, Acacia Creations, actually says right on here, handmade in Vietnam. Uh, so we've got the paper, rolled paper available. The pair of them, uh, one was $7.50, one was $9. So I'm selling them as a pair for $16.50. You can get the pair of curled paper ornaments uh, from Acacia Creations, uh, $16.50 for the pair. And you get that by giving me number 71. 71, $16.50 for the pair of paper, curled paper ornaments. All right. So Carolina Princess says her grandmother used to make those. So yeah, I remember, I think my, my former mother-in-law, she used to make them as well. So again, I think these might be modern uh, creations. I hadn't noticed the tag when we pulled them, but you know, still gave that nice motif and those are available. Uh, if you've watched my channel in the past, you noticed that you might know that I have an interest in Russian. My minor was Russian area studies. And I've done a couple of videos and haul videos and shop with me videos that talk about these lacquer boxes. Not all Russian lacquer boxes are the same. And this happens to be one of the special ones. So these uh, lacquer boxes, uh, whether they're Soviet era or more modern, they're always going to be signed. Typically, when you're dealing with an older one, you will have the signature and the information is very, very small down very, you know, kind of not necessarily hidden in the art, but definitely smaller and not a real focus of the art. And this is one of those that makes it a little bit older. And also, if you look at the word that's kind of in the middle, I'm um, trying to show it in a way that you might be able to see it. It is written in the Cyrillic alphabet. So if you don't know Cyrillic, it's not going to be something you'll necessarily recognize. But you may want to educate yourself that if you see that little, those five letters, the first one looks like the, like the P is in the Greek letter pi. And then the last letter is the X. That is polyx. And it's a, this is a polyx lacquer box. It's a smaller one, you know, it's only a few inches by a few inches, um, but it is very well painted. Polyak is known for their detailed painting. As you get newer, a lot more regions do them. Uh, the painting gets a little bit less detailed and the signatures on the bottom become almost like billboards. So if you see really large writing that's extremely easy to see from a distance, that's probably more modern. It's not a real rule of, it's just kind of a guideline. Uh, but when you see it this small, these were art pieces that were so, made at a time where it wasn't really important to mark who or where they were from. Uh, they, as they became more well known, they became to promote it a little bit further. So this is a Pollock lacquer box. It's in great condition. It is hinged. Uh, the box, the top does not come off it. It's just a hinged box. Uh, you've got the three horses and then the man and the woman in the back. I did not try and translate the actual name of the art or the piece. If Blue Feather Mercantile were here, he'd be able to promote, uh, uh, um, he'd be able to decipher it for me, but he's not. Uh, but the box is available. So it's a great looking box. It is $25. It's $25 for the lacquer box. And you can have that by giving me number two. $25 for the Pollock Lacquer Box by giving me number two. All right. Giving a little bit of heads up on what's coming up, making some noise. Got a bell that has uh, came out of one of the booths in the, in the mall. It's got a crystal. It is, I do not believe this is cut. I do believe it is pressed. It's not a sharp enough edge to say that it is a uh, cut glass bell, but I do think based on its weight, it is lead crystal. It still obviously has the clapper in it because it's still making noise. It is making an absolutely crystal clear tone because it is in perfect condition. There are no chips, no cracks, nothing that is going to mess up that tone. 
Uh, you've got the metal uh, handle to it. it. Looks to me like pewter. I do not believe it is silver plate, although it could be in just having a little bit of tarnish. Uh, but either the combination, whether it, whatever the white metal is, is a great looking piece, whether it's for Christmas or for any other time, it is available. It is $14.50 and the bell is available by giving me number 39. 39 for ring my bell. That's right, Vintage Vinny. Got a little, uh, got a little uh, crazy lamp lady going for ring my bell. 39 1450 for the bell. All right. Got a um, an older um, large mug. Uh, this is a friendship mug. It says sharing a bit of friendship is just my cup of tea. It is fairly large. We've got uh, Luke's diner size uh, tea cup going on, coffee cup going on here. <laughs> It is the Margeline, I think it's Boston, Bastion. Um, I've seen that, that design before. This one is made in Indonesia, so it's not quite as old as some of the vintage pieces that I've got tonight, but it's again in perfect condition. It's very attractive. You've got the birds on one side, and as you go around, you have the signs of friendship. I don't know what a bumblebee makes in friendship, but you know, it's just a good looking cup in absolutely perfect condition and a very good size and it's only $5.50. So if you would like the Friendship Tea Cup, that is available $5.50 by giving me number 45. $5.50, number 45. All right, we've got a dog coming up. For those of you who are familiar with my channel, uh, you might know or might remember that I have a fundraiser coming up for uh, just one more docs and rescue organization coming up next week. So a week from tomorrow will be a fundraiser dedicated to the JOMDR. So for a docs and rescue, uh, this item makes me think of it because I've got you a dog. So join next week, all items that are sold next week, all of that money will be collected and donated to the just one more docs and rescue. This happens to be, I don't, definitely not a dachshund. I'm going to guess a terrier, maybe an Airedale based on the length of the nose, but I'm not hundred percent sure. And it is a planter. I did not think to grab any of my air plants when I left the house, but you've got uh, this great looking planter with a uh, decent small size. So it actually would look good with an air plant in there. It is unmarked and it is only $18. So you've got the green dog planter. Again, ignore the number that you saw on the bottom there. So the green dog planter is available for $18. And so Morton pottery, think um, Vinny, that I have to admit is not as familiar with Morton. So I, uh, what's that? Not with that glaze, I don't think. So Suzanne didn't think that the glaze, it's hard to tell sometimes on, uh, on, on air. She doesn't think Morton would have that kind of glaze. But um, anyway, it's a great looking piece. It is only $18. Great looking piece, and it is available for number 83. 83 for the Green Dog Planter. And I see that Connie Cable just claimed a number that doesn't exist. Oh, you were do you were doing the number on the bottom. Okay, there we go. Connie caught herself. It is 83. So again, if you're coming in late, uh, just remember that the numbers you see on the tag are not necessarily the numbers of being claimed. Um, so that was number 83. The dog planter goes to Connie Cable, CLC. So thank you very much, Connie, for picking that up. And I apologize for the numbers, but it's, it wasn't worth trying to untag everything. Um, and uh, I'm, just, I'm trying to read Aaron's comments. People are spelling color with a U. So we've got some uh, Canadians and Brits in. Uh, I don't know if, if Nathaniel's here. Yep, Nathaniel's here too. So yep, he's going to be busted for his use of you. All right. Next item we've got is a small pottery bird. This one was from a pottery that I was not familiar with. It is still tagged with his original uh, vintage tag, Rolf Berg, marked from Sweden. So it still has the original tag on the back, Rolf Berg Torshelia. I do not speak Swedish, so I'm sure I just ruined that language, uh, but Sweden's easy enough, so you can see. It is, I'm going to guess, a chickadee, although it has a very wide red breast, and I'm not sure that chickadees definitely do that. But the coloration on the back is that black and the gray with the white accent, which I think is what chickadees kind of are kind of known for. Uh, so it's a detractive little piece. It is also available, happens to be also $18. So the Swedish uh, 
the Swedish bird is available for $18 by giving me number 50. $18, number 50 for the Rolf Berg Swedish bird. All right, it looks like Connie Cable picked up the Swedish bird as well. So congratulations, Connie, for picking that up. All right, next item is, uh, if you, again, watch my um, Instagram, I've posted some videos here from the Rustic Fox, and this is a booth that I highlighted on my last video. This comes out of Frankfurt Candle Company, and what they are doing is they are taking uh, vintage containers and then making wood wick candles out of them. And some of their containers are very large and have very heavy candles built into them. Uh, so I went into their booth and tried to find some pieces that were a little bit smaller. Uh, and this is uh, one of the ones that I picked up. You've got a hobnail opalescent to clear glass little dish. Not sure if it originally would have had a cover to it, but this one does not have the cover. It is simply a hobnail. They are not the pointed hobnail, so that would not be Fenton. Uh, but there's no other marks on it to indicate what type or whose glass it is. It is just an attractive piece, not quite milk glass, because again, if you look at the bottom, it does go to clear. Um, so you just have the cream uh, opalescence at the top, and then it clears as it goes as it goes down. So this is from the Frankfurt Candle Company, new candle in a vintage dish. It is available for twenty-two dollars, and it is number ninety-nine. Twenty-two dollars ninety-nine for the hobnail glass candle. And we have a, a supporter from Michelle Decker saying that they make good candles. So that's good to know. The woodwick is actually really good. Um, I'm asking if they're asking if there's a scent. Can you <laughs> Suzanne's a good person is wearing her mask, um, so she has no idea. Um yeah, it's kind of a <laughs> it sounds like it is scented. It's a like a pine almost. It's kind of a pine scent. So a woodsy, pine. woodsy pines, which makes sense for the wood wick candle. Uh, all right. Next item is a small copper dish. You've got the engravings to it. It's uh, probably only I didn't bring my tape measure through sure there's one around here somewhere. Uh, it looks like it's only about six inches across. So it's a relatively small piece. It is designed to be a wall plaque because it does have the hook to hang it. And because of the way the hook is attached, it doesn't sit particularly flat. Uh, that gets bumped, that gets pushed into it. Um, so this really is a wall plaque, but hopefully you can see that is all etched in. So you've got the enameling or the uh, ebonizing to make the black color and then the cutting through uh, to the metal underneath. It's absolutely beautifully designed. I'm assuming it's Indian. Um, it looks like there's a little bit of age to it. If you look to the, the way that's been attached and the ring that is there, I'd say there's a little bit of age uh, on this, but probably not super, super old. It's just a super cool looking piece. And it looks like uh, Four Sandy's Lilacs picked up the uh, candle. So thank you, uh, Sandy, uh, for picking that up. Um, so this piece is only $8. $8 for the engraved metal plaque. $8 by giving me number three. $8, number three for the copper dish. All right. All right, now we've got coming up some more glass. This empty nesting two picks up the engraved brass tray. So thank you, um, I wanna say Maria. I wanna say Maria, uh, but empty nesting too. Thank you for picking up the uh, brass tray. All right, next piece is an amber glass swung glass vase. So you've got the pedestal base to it, so it's adding in a little bit of height. You have the small petal design going all the way around the bottom. So you've got the design in the bottom. It is, as all spun glass, it is additionally molded. So you can feel the seams in the sides. But all going up the glass, it feels like those seams were actually polished out. Uh, this is actually from Suzanne's booth. And she's marking this as a Fenton piece. 
and you can see the way the top is done. It gave that angled back, so it kind of gives you a front and a back to the piece. It is about 12 inches tall. Yep, I don't have a tape measure. I have to wing it. Wing it. Uh, so about 12 inches tall for this one glass. Absolutely perfect condition. Uh, no chips, no cracks. Amber glass. It is $19. So $19 for the swung glass, and you can get that by giving me number 26. Amber swung glass for $19, number 26, coming from Suzanne McLean's booth. All right. So it looks like uh, I always have to wait to make sure. Okay, look, I always have to make sure that I'm not seeing it in a different order. Uh, so Kelly from Found Again picks up the swung glass uh, vase. And she's local, so we don't even have to ship it to her. So that's perfect. Uh, next item is pulling in another piece of brass. Uh, this is, I should have uh, marked who some of these vendors are. I believe this one's Tallulah Road. Uh, so this definitely has some age to it. You've got this brass and copper angel. The wings are attached at both her shoulders and the dress. So they, don't, they do not open. Uh, so you've got this, these copper accents in the hair in the uh, collar and in the wings and then the brass and it is a candle holder so you've got a small taper that would fit in this and again we've got a pretty decent size just got the tape measure so we're going to measure her up a little bit she is about nine and a half inches tall so we've got some age uh, or some height to her uh, nine, and uh, that is available for now for eighteen dollars for the brass and copper vintage uh, angel candle taper candle holder, eighteen dollars by giving me number ninety four. Eighteen number ninety four for the brass and copper angel, and I would agree, Water Baby. I would put that very much into the mid century modern look. All right, I think I forgot to write down the. All right, so 94, the brass candle holder goes to Old Stuff Beth. And what was the number of your swung glass vase again? Because I think I forgot to write down, found again. 26 was found again. I have a feeling I'll be watching this video again to make sure I didn't mess up writing some of these down. All right, next we've got another piece of Christmas decor. Oh, like a lot of Christmas in here, but it's not all Christmas. But this is something, again, I do not get very often, and I know people go crazy for it. So we've got some Holt Howard, and this is a stamped Holt Howard piece from 1959. And um, I'm not sure if necessarily the person who has this knew who Holt Howard was. So it's a great piece at a great price. So you've got this Christmas tree dish, candy dish, shallow dish you can see it's not particularly deep but it does have the flat bottom with the stem it has the original uh stamp or the or a foil label as well as the holt howard stamp indicating it's from 1959 and it is only 14 dollars. ignore that 35 uh it is only 14 dollars uh from holt howard 1959 a great looking mid-century modern christmas dish $14 by giving me number 56. $14, 56 for the Holt Howard. All right. Number 56 goes to Blue Flamingo Mercantile. So thank you, Lori, for picking that up. You're going to give that a good home, I am sure. And that was very popular, so I appreciate everyone uh, joining the sale. And uh, congratulations to Lori for picking that up. All right, the next item is a combo deal. Uh, found a couple small items in one of the booths that wanted to participate, and I thought these were just kind of cute. So this is a uh, old-fashioned hot cocoa, kind of a little, a little hand towel. So it's, it's a smaller, it's a square size, which you really don't see in kitchen towels all that often. Um, but you've got the instructions of how to make your hot cocoa. And since you've got the instructions and the recipe for how to make it, you've got the mug to put it in. So this is an old fashioned hot cocoa mug. It's got the same uh, instructions and most of the same instructions that are on the towel uh, put onto the side of the mug. 
uh, with, these are great pieces. Uh, again, probably not particularly old. It's a solid glass uh, mug, no markings or anything in the glass, but they were really attractive prices that I wanted to make sure I offered to you. So the mug is only $3 and the dish towel was only four. So I'm selling this as a pair. You get the mug and the dish towel. This is from the Picker Sisters. Uh, came out of their booth, out of Sue's booth, the Picker Sisters. So two pieces, uh, seven dollars for the pair, or for the for the two items. And you can get those two items by giving me number sixty-two, sixty-two for the hot cocoa mug and towel. All right. And it looks like Michelle Ann picked up the towel and glass. All right. Next item actually is coming from my booth because uh, we definitely have some things from me in here. Uh, this one is uh, something if you follow, again, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen this as a preview uh, for the sale. It's my little uh, tired or stoned uh, panda. So you can make your own decisions what exactly that panda has been up to during the day. Uh, but you've got this great little vintage uh, panda pant planter. It was used, so I tried to clean it up a little bit, but there's definitely some use in there. There's quite a bit of crazing on the inside and on the bottom, but really, if you look really closely, there really isn't much, if any, crazing on his face. So in the places where it makes, the, where it matters, the crazing is actually really minimal. The crazing really is on the inside. You can kind of see it a little bit there and you might be able to see it a little bit better on the bottom. Uh, but it does have the original foil label. Uh, so this is a Nancy Pew item, Japan, as well as the Japan stamp. So you definitely have some age on this piece. I think he's adorable. Whether you put a bunch of air plants in there or you just put make him into a dresser caddy, he's got a really nice sized opening in the back. He's in a really great shape. Other, you know, other than the crazing, he's super adorable uh, and uh, don't come across pandas all that often. So the vintage Japan Japanese panda planter is fourteen dollars, and you can have him by giving me number six. Fourteen dollars, number six for the stoned panda planter. All right, again, not everything that I have is uber vintage, um, but I wanted to have a mix and I wanted to have things that um, had the vintage look. And I think uh, Suzanne just wanted to mess with my head because she wanted to see how I display five individual pieces without dropping them. Uh, so the Panda Planter went to Randy Heilman. So thank you, Randy, uh, for picking up the stoned Panda Planter. All right, so you're gonna get this kind of piecemeal because there's no way I'm gonna be able to do this. We got an E, we got an M, we've got an R. Anyone know what we're selling? We've got another R and we've got a Y. So unless you get really creative, I think we just spelled Mary. However, as I'm holding it up, I don't even know if Suzanne knew this. There's stuff on the back. So not only can you spell Mary, you can spell happy, H-A-P-P-Y. So we've got a Mary and a happy. Yeah, so it's um, sold just as Christmas decor. So I think the, the happy, unless you just want to announce you're happy, not really sure what you're going to do with the backside, but, or, you know, you have your initials, hey, P for Patrick, you know, you can, you can do whatever you want. Uh, but the front side is uh, de decorated with these great uh, graphics on the back. So, you, well, I'm not sure it's always great to see a reindeer mounted to the wall. That's actually slightly disturbing. Um, but we've got the chevron stripes on the back of the M. We've got stripes on another on the R. Green and white stripes on that R. And... Green and, white, green and white stars on the E. So you've got a little bit of variety. Just mix it in, make for a great vignette. Uh, wherever you put it, however you use it, uh, you've got Mary on one side and on the back, they're actually kind of autumnal. So you got pumpkins on the back. So it's happy something to do with fall. So the Mary sign is available from, I don't know whose booth that was, uh, but that is uh, available for $22 for the five wooden signs. $22 for Mary by giving me number 95. $22, number 95 for the wooden Mary sign. 
And I think she, if I remember correctly, she is actually one of the newest vendors at the mall. So I wishing her, wishing her well. Yeah, farm, farm stand furniture, I think. Farmstead furniture, something like that. Uh, so wishing her well uh, in her booth. She had a lot of furniture, which I did not feel like trying to hold up. So that did not get included in the sale. All right, since we talked about fall, if anyone wanted to pick up the happy sign, we are still in the fall and owls are timeless. They can be in the fall, they can be in the winter, they don't die in the winter. So, you know, they're always, they're always gonna be owls. And this was one of those cooler uh, home hobby pieces. Uh, so you've got a vintage ceramic um, owl kind of on a pedestal. So I don't know if he necessarily would have been a bookend because the back isn't really flat. He is, he's kind of, he's got a curved base on all four sides. So I think he really was just designed to be a decorative owl. Uh, it is signed by the original uh, hobbyist, uh, at least initialed J.A. and did that back in 1982. So we've got the, for $14, we've got the hobbyist uh, owl piece uh, in great condition. No chips, no cracks. Well, my tiny little chip back in there on the back, but it's on the back corner. Uh, no chips, no cracks. It is $14 for the piece and is available by giving me number 69. $14 for the ceramic owl by giving me number 69. Uh, and no, this is not from my booth. Uh, this is from, I need a cheat sheet. This was from number 23. I don't remember whose booth that was. Um, so 69, $14 for the ceramic owl. Is that 95 from the Mary? Oh, yes. Thank you. And who took home 95? Nobody. Oh, nobody took the Mary sign. Okay, I thought you announced somebody. Um, all right. All right. Next item, uh, again, if you watch my um, videos, uh, one that I include in almost every video I do has one of the biggest booths in the store, Quirky Haven. And so this came out of the Quirky Haven booth. It is a little, uh, a little wooden cigar box turned into a bag. So you've got the clasp on the front, just like it would be had it been uh, the traditional cigar box, but you've got it then hinged and lined. So you've got a felt lining uh, in both the top on the sides and on the bottom and attached is the wooden, the beaded handle to make it into a small handbag. It was originally a Florfina uh, cigar box, 858. I admit, I don't know uh, Tabacchiana, so I don't know what the 858 would have referred to. Uh, and on the bottom, it has uh, in Spanish, twenty. it says 25 cigars, but then we'll just let you decide if anyone knows what uh, that says, knock yourself out. So you've got a from Quirky Haven, a little uh, wooden box turned into a little handbag for $14, $14 for the Quirky Haven uh, cigar box bag, $14 by giving me number 47, 47, $14 for the wooden cigar box bag. All right, throwing a piece of glass uh, into this again. Uh, this one, I, as I picked it up, I just realized there's a tag in the bottom. So this is uh, not particularly old. Um, I'm not even sure, I can't remember whose uh, product tag is. I think that might be Target. Um, so this is a Target. A target, yeah, Suzanne found this, so we can all blame her. <laughs> Uh, but we will not blame her because it's still cute. It is a candle uh, holder. I, they're not really votive. It's really pillar because it's a fairly decent sized piece. Uh, but you've got the reindeer on one side and the Christmas tree on the other. And even items that sometimes are, you know, from a, br a broader name are not necessarily still available. You know, they come into the shop because they might have been from a few years ago. They've been discontinued. So if you didn't catch it the first time, hey. These types of stores are a great way to find it second time around. So this one is a uh, stained glass look candle holder for $14. Uh, you can have that by giving me number 91. $14, number 91 for the stained glass, broken glass style uh, glass candle holder. Is it from uh, Target, uh, Christy? I think tag is, but I, I wouldn't swear to that. is Target, Tarche, whatever you'd like to say. All right. Next item is from Red Rooster Relics. Uh, she's a couple booths down for me, and I always love checking out her uh, booth. Uh, my last video highlighted quite a few items in there, and that stone globe I'm still looking at is still there. Uh, but this is a uh, planter 
in the style of a pipe. So the pipe does not have any opening. You cannot, you know, it's not a, it's not a teapot. It's not designed to be anything other than a planter glazed on the inside. So it is functional uh, planter that is in the style, st the style of a carved Mershorn mer 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 pipe, Mershorn pipe. Um, kind of Toby mug style, but done into a pipe. It's got some really great glaze, a uh, very high gloss glaze and primarily browns, but there's this really cool green glaze technique that bleeds through the top. And yeah, Katie, it does. It's kind of like a Toby, but I don't know that Toby mugs typically would have been done pipe style. So uh, the carved pipes are, you know, I'm familiar with, but regardless, uh, you've got, um, you've got a planter, a little large for an air plant, unless you got one of those Mongo air plants or a traditional planter or I believe when it was on display, they'd actually shoved a tr Christmas tree in it. So you can do anything you want with that as a base. It is available for $14, $14 for the pipe style planter by giving me number 78, $14, number 78 for the ceramic planter. All right. Next item came from Kinfolk and Grain. Uh, this is an item that they definitely wanted to uh, participate. Didn't have a lot of vintage to pull, but they had some vintage style things that they make themselves. So I always want to support uh, the makers as well. Uh, so we went ahead and pulled this one. It is stamped on the bottom, Kinfolk and Grain, uh, that they manufactured themselves. Just a little wooden hat, a little wooden Santa hat, kind of dimensional. So there's a little bit more of a of meat to it to be able to set up uh, that is available. Uh, unique style from Kinfolk and Grain. It is $12 uh, for the handmade Santa hat. $12 by giving me number 54. $54, $12 for the Kinfolk and Grain Santa hat. All right. Depending on your age, you might have grown up with these. They were everywhere. And they didn't necessarily go away. This is... Uh, you know, one of those uh, wicker style sleighs, uh, but then somebody put the uh, Christmas decorations on the inside. So you've got all the little floral picks put in there to just make a really pretty Christmas uh, style sleigh um, uh, that has a floral arrangement in there. Uh, this was handmade by, I can't remember whose booth this one is either. Well, it was handmade by somebody. So. You've got the wicker style uh, planter. I think the next time I got to make cheat sheets of where all this stuff came from. But you've got this cool looking planter. It is $18. And you can have that by giving me number 65. 65, $18 for the little wicker sleigh floral arrangement. Very lightweight, so they won't really cost a lot to ship that. All right. Going back to some glass, uh, something again that I don't necessarily carry very often is some Swarovski. So this one is again, Swarovski is kind of hard because they've been doing the same styles forever. So it's difficult to know unless it's a dated piece, how old something is. But this is a Swarovski snowflake. You can see it's got the silver tip as Swarovski ornaments are always made out of, and it still has the original blue silk ribbon or satin ribbon that again, the Swarovski ornaments are always, you know, are, are sold with. It actually still has its original box. You can kind of see there's the shape is cut out so that the snowflake fits right in there. Uh, the little star ornament is actually, they're saying it's a star, not a snowflake. So uh, made in Austria. So again, all things Austrian are fa our favorites in our household. Uh, this is not from my booth. This is from 77, and I have no, I have no rem remembrance of who that is either. Um, so this is $15 for the Swarovski crystal ornament with box. $15 for the Swarovski by giving me number 72. 72 Swarovski crystal ornament, $15, number 72. And thank you, Anchor and Pearl Treasures, for uh, complimenting the Rustic Fox. Glad you were able to stop by and glad, more importantly, that you enjoyed it. Uh, so 72, the Swarovski Crystal Ornament went to Blue Flamingo Mercantile. So thank you, uh, Lori, for picking that up. All right, next item, I've got a Bergren tile. 
Uh, Berggren is a uh, kind of does the Nordic design, Swedish design, but they are actually based out of Chicago. Uh, the older designs are from Chicago and then they moved up to the northern suburbs. I want to say Libertyville, something like that, northern suburbs. Um, this is one of the older pieces, but it's not dated, but you can tell by the felt that this has been around for quite some time. It's basically a kitchen tile, uh, floral trivet. It says, uh, flowers leave part of their fragrance on the hands which bestow them. Ooh, we're getting fancy. Um, so unlike the Berggren that I have carried, it's actually in English, uh, but it is marked Berggren right there at the bottom. Uh, it's sometimes very hard to find the Bergen marks, um, but it is definitely a name to know and a name to follow. And if you're a reseller, it's kind of be on the lookout for them because there is a following for this uh, Swedish uh, Nordic style design. Uh, so you've got this vintage floral tile trivet. Um, I will say, uh, because as you know, if you've seen my channel before, I'm not a fan of damage. Uh, this one does have a tiny, tiny, tiny nick right on the edge, but it is on the edge of the front. So it is um, worth noting, but it is also priced accordingly uh, because it's only $14. So you've got the Berggren uh, tile, $14 for the Berggren tile uh, that is available for number 89. Number 89, $14 for the Berggren tile. All right. By the way, the original receipt is in here from Marshall Fields, 2003. Okay. Uh, the Swarovski crystal, which I, uh, did anyone pick up the Swarovski crystal? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Lori, it, there, is a t there is a price uh, receipt inside. It's from 2003, so it does have some age to it. Uh, all right. So the next item is a, a little Lefton egg, footed egg. Uh, Jeffrey, if you follow his channel, he kind of ran through a series of these of all different sizes and makers. This happens to be a marked Lefton uh, with the original foil label with the registered trademark. So you've got Lefton with the trademark on there. It says trademark exclusives Japan. So that puts this one into the 80s slash 90s. Um, I didn't bring my little cheat sheet, so I don't remember exactly when that label was done. Uh, but it's after 1971 because 71 was when they were applying for the trademark. Uh, so that foil label puts that probably in the 80s or 90s. Um, it is in absolutely perfect condition. This also happens to be coming from Suzanne McLean's booth. Uh, and as all things, since Suzanne uh, is also very serious about her vintage, it's in perfect condition. Uh, no chips, no cracks, no issues, and a great price at only $8. So $8 for the Lefton footed egg, perfect condition with a floral motif. $8 by giving me number 27. $8.27 for the Lefton Floral Egg. All right, the next piece is a piece of glass with a maker's name that I personally was not familiar with. Uh, looks like we had a taker on the on number 27. So the Lefton Egg went to Serendipity by Melanie. Um, so thanks for joining us, uh, Melanie. Uh, you are a new name to me. So just again, make sure you send an email to the email address that's running across the bottom so we know your shipping information so the store can uh, send that out to you. So thank you for picking up the left and egg. Uh, so anyway, so this is a glass vase. The color's not really coming on my screen particularly well. It is a green color. And I would say it is darker than a sage green. It's definitely like got that vintage green look, but it's a milk glass base. So you've got a molded glass piece. You can see the mold line has not been polished. So the mold line is still there. It has the shell motifs running all the way around the bottom. There's these tiny little handles. So you've got basically an urn with a flared top where the inside is white and the bottom is white and it is marked Vitrock, V-I-T-R-O-C-K. So Vitrock is a name that I am not familiar with. It is a type of milk glass that has the paint, the color added just to the outside, not the inside or the bottom. Uh, the uh, application of the color is actually pretty good. There's a couple places where it's flaked off a little bit, but nothing serious. And again, I apologize that the green is not really coming across super clearly. 
Um, but it is $16 for the Vitrock glass vase. Uh, it is about 10 inches tall, so it's a nice size to it. Uh, what did I just say? $16 for the vase by giving me number 55. $16.55 for the Vitrock milk glass vase. All right. The next item uh, comes from, oh, so it's Anchor Hawking Vitrock. Okay, I hadn't had a chance to look it up. The downside of selling other people's items, I have no idea what it is unless they put it on the tag. Um, so other than seeing the Vitrock. So that's good to know. So Anchor Hawking Vitrock. Thank you, Retro Ruby. I did not know that. Uh, all right, this next piece uh, comes out of uh, Picker Sisters again. This is a great looking, um, did we happen to look at uh, something Rand's bottom? We were, Su oh. Suzanne and I were trying to remember what it was. It's the RRP company, Roseville, Ohio. This is not Roseville Pottery, it is something Rand's bottom and we could not remember what it was called. And again, this was a little stressful trying to set up the sale. So I'm gonna have to do it differently next time, but uh, I saw the piece. I've had I've carried this before. I knew what it was at the time I carried it. I just can't remember it here. It's a nice sized piece. And what I liked about it was the two tone coloring that went on to it. So it's got the reddish burgundy middle stripe and then the blue above and below. It's also a fairly large size. Uh, yeah, so Ransburg, something Ransburg, it's RRP. So it's something Ransburg Pottery. Robinson, Ransburg. Robinson Ransbottom. Rans Robinson Ransbottom Pottery Company. Thank you. That's Google is an amazing thing when somebody else can do it while I'm babbling. So Robinson Ransom Pottery, it, it ran bottom pottery. It is, a, it is a thing. It is marked Roseville because a lot of pottery was made in that region because of the clay. It's, so it's still a quality piece. It's just not a Roseville pottery piece. And they did really nice glazed crocs. So this is glazed on the outside and on the inside. It's a really nice piece. It's in perfect condition. It is priced at $22.00 and you can have it by giving me number 59, $22.59 for the Ransbottom, Robinson Ransbottom Pottery Company crop. All right. Going back to a piece of glass. Uh, this one is a decanter that came out of Red Rooster Relics. And this one is uh, a whiskey decanter. So you've got a glass probably lead crystal because back in the day they didn't care or didn't know uh, but you've got this great glass decanter with its original stopper and it is a ground stopper that fits perfectly so you you do have a, a, the original and the pair but what's great about this is what has been put onto the side so gilt edge whiskey has been printed on the side of this decanter it, you can see it has a cut a pattern of petals down the stem all the way around so it is three-dimensional but the words are only on the front side so you've got the gilt, gilt ed whiskey decanter flat bottom flared uh, whiskey decanter with the ground glass stopper on the top and that is available for thirty dollars thirty dollars for the whiskey decanter by giving me number 81 $30, number 81 for the whiskey decanter. And it looks like Don Shankweiler just bought something. Uh, 59 was the croc. All right. Yep, she's building a collection of crocs. So good. Um, congratulations for picking that up, Don. And Don is actually the founder of the Just One More Docs and Rescue uh, charity. And uh, if you join us on Sunday, I'm actually doing a deep dive into the charity. So we're having the fundraiser next Thursday, but on Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern on my channel, you will have a trusty deep dive where I will interview Dawn, uh, talk about the history of her charity. And if we're uh, if we convince her nicely or ask nicely, maybe she will show us one of her more than a dozen dogs that she currently has a sanctuary dogs within her own within her own home. Um, so, uh, again, thank you for picking that up, Dawn. And number 81 went to. Elisa Moonstruck Vintage, which if you watch my channel, hopefully soon, uh, thank you goes out to Elisa Moonstruck because uh, Vintage because she actually just made a donation to the fundraiser. So she, there will be an item that I will be selling in the fundraiser next week that was donated by Moonstruck Vintage. So I just re just got it on the mail this week and haven't even had a chance to open it, um, but uh, that'll be added. So thank you, Elisa Moonstruck Vintage for picking up the decanter number 81. 
All right, the next item is a little lusterware basket. I know these have been very popular. You've got definitely that 30s motif. You've got the floral, the orange and the blue floral design on the front and the smaller orange floral design on the back. This one is really nice. It's trimmed in black all the way around the edge. And then you've got kind of the, the wicker look, the brown look uh, handle, uh, also trimmed in edge, but with that luster wear, uh, luster that really shines on the handle itself. Again, it's in perfect condition. It is marked made in Japan on the bottom and it is available for $12. So $12 for the little floral luster wear basket, $12 by giving me number 28. $12.28 for the Lusterware basket. Again, not everything I carried or I'm showing you tonight is exactly vintage. Uh, some of it is vintage inspired. And this was just something that I saw in the I'm not old, I'm vintage booth. Uh, this is a vintage inspired box. So you've got the night before Christmas. It's looking like a book. You've got the, you know, the fake pages and everything in there. Uh, with the magnetic closure of a little box. Uh, it is not cork, it's just paper to look like cork. Uh, it's designed on both the front and the back with the same night before Christmas uh, design, but definitely that vintage look sitting high up on a shelf behind, is standing up. What I like about it is because it's tall, it would look great in a, in a little vignette with other children's books, children's toys, anything for Christmas, a great looking uh, solid book that would, a uh, solid box uh, that could definitely be functionally used in the box, but would look great in any Christmas decor. So this is not an old book. It just looks like an old book. So it's looking great, looking vintage. Uh, it is available for $20, $20 for the book. And by giving me number 42, $20, number 42 for the night before Christmas book box. All right. Going back to some metal. Uh, the next piece I've got here, uh, again, I can never remember who I'm stealing these things from. Uh, this one is coming out of one of the booths. It is a little, well, it's not that little. It's probably about nine, 10 inches tall of grass giraffe. So you've got kind of a stylistic design. You know, the face has kind of been squared off. You've got the antlers and the ears. Uh, you've got a texture to the brass. It is facing backwards so that the neck has a little bit of a twist to it. Um, one of the legs is bent, bent, short tail, and it is hollowed in the middle so you don't have a super amount of weight to it. But it stands very solidly on the four legs and it's a great looking piece and it's only $11.50. So for $11.50, you've got the brass, uh, ele uh, brass elephant, brass giraffe, brass giraffe, $11.50 by giving me number 43, $11.50 by giving me number 43. All right, this is something I haven't really seen much of before. Um, the uh, number 43 goes to Ileana. who's standing right there. And I'm like, wait, is that the Ileana? That's not a name you come across very often. So yes, Ileana. <laughs> Ileana gets the brass giraffe, which she could have walked about a hundred yards and just taken, uh, but <laughs> I'm glad she picked that up and she won't have to have shipping. So uh, Ileana Gonzalez gets the brass giraffe, which I just remembered came from Shown Toys. Uh, so I'm glad to have that. This is something that I, again, I don't haven't really seen all that often because these really aren't designed to be around. They're these little, it's this little paper fruit basket. So you've got Mama's Fruit Farms. So you've got it uh, marked on all four sides from Dayton, Shiloh Springs Road, Dayton, Ohio. It is in great condition. I really wouldn't swear what age this is. I mean, there's no zip code on there, but that wasn't necessarily their full mailing address. So that doesn't necessarily, but I would say this could be fifties or sixties. Um, there's some old staples holding that handle into place. And on the bottom it is stamped as Packaging Corporation of America, Ashland, Ohio. 
it's just a cool looking piece that again, I think would look great in any vintage kitchen in any sort of vignette. And it's only $12. So $12, number seven, can't remember the name of the booth. I'm sorry, booth seven. That was not the number. Booth seven. Uh, I can't remember her name, but she's at the front of the stores. What's that? It's Emily at U202. Emily at Ucho. What? Is it E2? Is E? What is it? E Somebody named oh. Emily who has one of the best, has the spot right at the front door. So she's important. Oh, so, yeah. so she's got this great little basket. <laughs> Um, just giving her, giving her some grief. I don't even know her name. So it's $12 for the little fruit basket. Again, it's great condition considering how old this probably is. Uh, $12 by giving me number 85, $12, number 85. And Michelle, I would love to see you buy something. Trust me. I've got another 40 to 50 items to go. I, we're, I need to start talking faster. Uh, all right. So... I think I screwed up Penny for, for she because I said seven. I didn't mean seven. And so then Jenny X snuck in and grabbed it. So it's up to Jenny X whether she wants to. I think Jen, I think Penny for she did mean to grab it, but I'd said the number wrong. Um, so if, in fairness, it should be Jenny X because I did gave a number that didn't exist. Um, but I'll let you two decide whether it's going to be Jenny X or Penny for she. Uh, who takes that. So I do apologize for my error, Penny, uh, but uh, that was not the number. And since I gave that number far earlier than intended, it really needs to go to the 85. So um, I'll let you guys decide. One of you gets it and congratulations and thank you for picking that up. Just let us know what you decide. Um, all right, the next item is a uh, vintage piece of jewelry. Uh, this one is marked, uh, it's an Avon pendant that also converts to a pin. So you've got the pheasants, uh, porcelain pheasants in the gold tone frame. But you can see on the back, you've got it hanging from, you know, as a pendant, but you still have the, the uh, closure for the pin to make it a brooch. So you have an Avon pheasant pin slash necklace that's marked for $15. So you've got a great piece of Avon. Uh, they always do. They get a bad rap sometimes because they were, you know, at some point maybe were oversold, but you don't come across these really nice pieces all that much anymore. And this one really is adorable. And fall is not over. Uh, so, okay, we've got Serendipity by Melanie clarifying it is a ring neck pheasant. So I will believe her because who am I to question? Uh, so you've got the pheasant as both the pin and the necklace is only $15. And you can get that by giving me number 77. 77, it even still has the Avon box. 77, ring, ring neck pheasant, pin slash necklace, $15. It looks like Penny's getting the box. Okay, so Penny got the box, which was number 75. No, it wasn't. What was the number? 85. 85. So Penny Forche, Forshe, I apologize, I don't know how to pronounce your last name, picked up the fruit basket. Thank you for the clarification. And the uh, 77 went, looks like it's going to Katie at Vintage and Vinyl. So thank you for picking that up, Katie. All right. We've got a decanter. Um, I'm not 100% sure if this was a DIY piece. It's definitely ceramic. It has the stilt marks on it. It is $18. Ignore the number because that's not the number. $18. It's got the stilt marks, and I believe that was a popular decal in the 70s, early 80s, which is what I grew up with. My mother used to run a ceramic studio. But it is very well done and very well glazed. So it could have been a production piece, but I don't know. Um, so this, it was not marked as anything other than miscellaneous. So you just have a kind of a cool looking decanter. It does not have a stopper. Uh, so I don't know if it what it would have necessarily been used for. Um, a TST dupe. All right, I don't know what that is. Um, but so you've got, I think, a home hobbyist piece, but maybe something different. It's just a cool looking, fairly large, you know, uh, decanter style, decal just on the one side, uh, no cracks, no chips. I'm looking really quick because I thought I saw some crazing, but no crazing. Um, this is a great looking piece. So you've got that vintage autumnal look. Um, Available for $18 by giving me number 49. 
$18.49 for the ceramic decanter. <coughs> Yes, T is Taylor Smith and Taylor. Oh, gotcha. I have not seen that pattern as Taylor Smith and Taylor. So I mean, I would imagine it would be a knockoff and that decal would have been something made by, you know, for the home hobby market. So, uh, but still a cool piece. All right, the next one is another cool piece. Uh, this is a metal coffee pot. The lid has been taped down. Uh, it is not hinged. The lid lifts off of it. But it's got this green motif uh, with apples, and it's painted on all sides. It is enamelware uh, with some wear to the enamel itself, and it is only fifteen dollars. So you've got the enamelware coffee coffee pot with the long handle or the long spot with the handle, and it's fifteen dollars. You get that fifteen dollars by giving me number ninety. Fifteen dollars nine number ninety for the enamelware coffee pot. All right. Brass is becoming more and more popular. So we've got another piece of brass uh, that I thought was a really good looking piece. And it was made in Korea. So not the oldest piece of brass, but definitely it has some age to it. And it is screaming Christmas. So you've got the reindeer who is perfectly enameled with his tail because uh, he's completely turned around. You've got what would make a one point one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight point buck, I guess. Um, so you've got the antlers, you've got the deer. Definitely has kind of that mid-century modern look, but is not that old. So you've got the brass uh, reindeer bill for $20. It's a great price for the, a, a piece of brass at this large. It's probably about 14 inches tall. So $20 for the brass reindeer by giving me number 70. $14 or $20 number 70 for the brass reindeer. All right, and since we were looking at something uh, mid-century modern, looks like the seven number 70 did go to, who do you have? D. We have D at Thrill of the Thrift. And that was very popular, so thank you for all of you uh, trying to claim that, but congratulations to D for picking up the Brass Reindeer. Since we had something that looked mid-century modern, we're going to give you something that is mid-century modern. So we've got this great crescent-shaped planter with the three feet uh, footed crescent-shaped planter. It is marked, but only USA. So we don't have any other maker to this. It's got kind of that granite ware, sponge ware look that has the ombre effect from the dark brown uh, all the way down to just the yellow gold with the white sponging over it. It is all yellow on the inside and the white kind of breaks out and it's all yellow on the bottom. So it's glazed on all sides. It's in great condition. Definitely has some wear to it. You can see the uh, bottom, but it's a great looking piece uh, that looks like if you hold it flat, it, maybe a little bit higher on one side than the other. Uh, but just again, this great looking mid-century modern shape, um, gold tone, yellow planter. So that is marked for $10. $10 for the mid-century modern planter. 10 bucks by giving me number 21. $10, number 21 for the yellow spongeware planter marked U. Another uh, item that if, again, if you watch my videos, uh, I stalk this person's booth all the time. Uh, so this is drifting a little out of vintage, but uh, I had a couple tags left over, so I wanted to make sure I grabbed something from Mother Potter. Uh, Mother Potter uh, makes all of her own uh, ceramic pottery pieces. She was here uh, changing over a booth, putting some more Christmas items in. And this was one of the pieces that caught my eye uh, from her original collection. It is just a small scale vase, but you can see this chevron design that goes all the way around the bottom. Uh, it's got this great glaze technique to it. And it has the maker's mark, the stamp for Mother Potter uh, down there at the bottom. It has uh, its original hang tag, you know, with her logo on it. It is uh, eighteen dollars. Is the small Mother Potter vase, and you can get the Mother Potter vase for eighteen dollars by giving me number ninety-eight. Ninety-eight, eighteen dollars for the original pottery from Mother Potter. Okay, Penny and Jenny X have decided that Jenny X is going to take. 
the fruit basket. Okay, so Jenny X is taking the fruit basket. We'll change that. Did anyone take the mid-century modern planter? No. You no. can tell them it's mine. You know, when you tell them it's mine itself. When you don't... <laughs> I, I neglected <laughs> to say that that was Suzanne. So if that makes any difference, if you want to support Suzanne's. Um, and then uh, did anybody take the Mother Potter piece? I didn't anything. All right. Do you not see that? I'm a little bit behind you. Okay. Next piece is just a great display piece of this old vintage jar that has uh, probably not particularly old glass ornaments um, on display inside of it. And the jar itself is marked A3. It is a ball jar. Uh, it does not have the milk glass liner, so it's not particularly old. Um, but it is a ball jar of a much larger size than I'm typically used to seeing, and it comes with the Christmas ornaments. And it's only $14. So $14 for the oversized ball jar with the uh, Christmas ornaments in it. $14 by giving me number 44. $14, $44 for the ball jar and ornaments. All right, some more Christmas. Got a lot of Christmas. Next item is, not sure what material she's made out of. I've had something like this before. It's not chalkware, but it's kind of a plastery type material that is hollowed. Um, that if you, if you, I don't think if you broke her, she wouldn't break like ceramic. She'd break like chalkware, but she's not as heavy as chalkware. I've had carolers that were made out of the same material uh, that were from the 60s. This is an angel made out of that same material. It's been sealed over on the bottom to cover up the fact that it is hollow on the inside. Uh, it's only 10 bucks. It's in great shape. It's just got this really great look. Her uh, face as well. Well, okay, getting it that close it actually makes her look slightly scary. Uh, but she's an attractive angel uh, in the gold tone and in uh, whatever material that is. And she's only ten bucks. So ten dollars for the vintage semi chalkware angel. Ten dollars by giving me number thirty five. Ten dollars thirty five for the angel. All right. Both Suzanne and I failed. Well, Suzanne didn't fail because it wasn't her job. I failed. I forgot to bring the, um, I forgot to bring my black light. So shame on me. And we didn't know anyone else who had one. It uh, looks like 35 went to Jen Bootsy. Or do you see somebody else? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so thank you, Jen, for picking up the angel. Um, so what I found is a pair of what we both believe is uranium glass, and we both believe these would glow under black light if we had bothered to bring either one of ours. Um, what I really liked about this is the pattern. It's I don't think I don't think it's a snowflake, but it looks dang like a snowflake. Um, but it's got the uh, detail on all sides. It's a squared off plate, so these are the dinner plates. Uh, you can see the square edges on both of them. They were being sold individually, but I didn't want to split them up from the pair. So I'm actually combining the two into one and selling these as a pair because they were only marked for 10 bucks each. So for the pair, you get them for 20. So $20 for the large, large size dinner plate with the snowflake, although it's not a snowflake medallion pattern in the center. Uh, Madrid is what it's coming back with, and uh, Katie's saying federal glass. So thank you very much for clarifying that. Uh, Madrid federal glass, uh, uranium glass dinner plates, 20 bucks by giving me number 31. 20 bucks, 31 for the pair of uranium glass dinner plates. And Michelle Decker is taking the uh, mid-century modern planter from Suzanne. So that was number, what was your planner? I'm looking for her. Uh, number 21? 21. Michelle Decker. Yep, Michelle Decker. Who again, as local, doesn't have to pay for shipping. Uh, so thank you for picking that up. Um, do not see anyone picking up the uranium glass, but that's okay. All right, the next piece is one of those that I think has a little bit of age, but is not super, super vintage. I want to say this is probably from the 90s or the 2000s. It is a little um, snowman 
tea light votive candle holder. You see the cutouts around the sides for the light to actually come out. Uh, but it's got this cool like uh, bale wire, you know, wire handle that's coming across the top with the open with the opening to put. And you could put a fairly large candle, but I think it is designed for a tea light because the holes are pretty low. The holes are, you know, primarily, and they're actually primarily in the back. Now that I see that, um, so I, I don't think you'd want a big taper, a bigger candle in there. I think you'd want it to have light, low light, so it's coming out. Um, this is from Tallulah Road, so this is only ten dollars for the ceramic uh, snowman with stocking cap candle holder. It is $10 by giving me number 93. $10.93 for the Tallulah Road tea, tea light holder snowman. All right. Next piece is probably one of the favorites um, that uh, came into my hands because I didn't have to go get it. She came in, she brought it to me. Uh, this is from Maker and the Merchant and it is this fantastic enamel green enamel dish with this metal framework applied uh, all around the outside, both the top and the bottom. So it's kind of that enamel work bowl is sitting in this frame with a leaf pattern on two of the sides. So you've got this absolutely amazing dish. Um, she thought the possibility, because there is a little bit of a groove there that maybe it's an ashtray. And I think she's probably right. But this does not look like an ashtray. This looks like a candy dish. This looks like a candle holder. This looks like an amazing looking piece. And it is from, of course, now I can't see it. It is from, it is marked Evans uh, enamel. So it's Evans enamel, hand enameled. Uh, it is an amazing piece at an amazing price. Um, I'll be honest, I was considering just taking it myself. But uh, it is available um, from the maker and the merchant. It is available for $14 for this enamel dish in absolutely perfect condition, no chips or anything to the enamel. $14 by giving me number 33. $14.33 for the enamel dish. And we had a question if 31 is still available. And yes, 31 was the pair of uh, dinner plates. Yes, 31 is still available back at check that. They were what? I don't have my book. They are not Madrid. Oh, Suzanne is questioning whether they are Madrid. No, I know that they're not Madrid. Okay. Well, now she's just being snotty. She's saying they, she knows they're not Madrid. I need to bring my book. Yeah, we do not have that. That's the, again, hard when we don't have time to research everything that we're selling. So we might change this off a little bit next time. Uh, but appreciate all of you joining. I hope you're having fun because I'm getting surprised by some of the stuff I'm showing you. Uh, so we had 31 went to the uh, the uranium glass plates went to back alley garage and did we have any takers for the enameled uh, dish i don't see anything okay um all right since we were talking about glass we got another amber glass uh dish this is a divided dish uh it has the uh pressed pattern along the edge i do not think that counts as thumbprint um, but you can see there is a design all the way around the edge as well as the same impressions put all the way around the bottom, but the, the actual dish on the inside is flat. So you feel the texture of the thumbprint in the bottom, but it, and you see it in the top, but it does not come through. These are not bumps on the top. This is all flat. So you basically just have a three piece, a three divided dish, uh, divided dish by three ways. Uh, great looking piece, and again, a great looking price. Uh, Fifteen dollars for the amber glass divided dish. Fifteen dollars by giving me number forty-eight. Fifteen dollars forty-eight for the amber glass divided dish. All right. This. Yes. <laughs> so going into something small, we've got a pair of vintage, um, I'm going to assume they're candle holders, like super small taper candle holders. Um, you've got this kind of these, this pair of carolers. You've got the wider skirt on the girl and then the little uniform. They're both holding their, holding their music. You got the suit coat and the scarf on the boy and the, I uh, flared skirt on the girl. Um, you've got the little place for the can for the tapers. But again, these would have to be very small tapers because one, it's fairly short. You know, the the, in, the impression is relatively shallow. So it would have to be a relatively small taper. 
um, because these are relatively small pieces. You can see they kind of disappear into my hands. Um, but they are adorable. Whether you put candles in them or not, these are great looking pieces. And again, at an amazing price. Uh, so this is a set of uh, the vintage um, candle holders. Uh, it is available for $14 for this pair. And you can get those by giving me number 82. $14.82 for the pair of vintage candle holders. All right. This was a fun one that kind of gets combined into vintage versus, you know, repurposing. Uh, so this is a vintage theater money bag. So you can see it was originally a money bag from the Lacey Street Theater in Fairbanks, Alaska, that has been stitched, cut apart and restitched into a, into a handbag uh, done by Myra Bags. So I'm assuming that the bag itself was once a vintage bag and it's just been repurposed, um, but it's just a great looking piece. It's lined in the side with a Myra, you know, Myra branded um, fabric. And it is still has the original hang tag from Myra bag uh, making that available. So this is the theater pouch. It is from Myra bags. It is priced at $20. So $20 for the old bank bag. Uh, from the Lacey Street Theater, $20, giving me number 66, $20.66 um, for the old bank bag. Penny Forshee. And Penny Forshee takes number 82, which was the San Santa candle holders. They weren't Santa, they're Caroler. That's my own, that's my own, like not even knowing what I was looking at. Caroler. Carolers candle holders goes to Penny Forshee. All right. Got another piece of glass. This is a pretty good size water pitcher. Uh, definitely got that boho look if Michelle is still here. So Michelle, you said you were looking for something to claim something. So you've got some boho going for you. You got the Daisy pitcher, uh, tall pitcher. Um, let's see, we've got about nine and a half inches to the lip. So you've got a decent sized picture with the leaf design in the front and the daisy pattern on both sides. So it's actually decorated all the way around and it has the ice lip. So the ice does not come out of there. So it's an ice lip. It's a great looking piece in great condition. No chips, no cracks. It happens to be coming from my booth. It is $12 for the daisy boho amber glass picture, $12 and it's number 12. $12, number 12, for the amber glass pitcher. Deanna Church is saying that's anchor hawking, so that's good, because even though it's mine, I did not, I had not found that pattern, so thank you for pointing that out. So previously we had a pseudo piece of chalkware, and now we've got real chalkware. Um, oh, Michelle feels that it's too big for a kitchen, but you know, you just put a bunch of really big plant in it. Um, <laughs> So we've got a Miller Studio chalkware piece. So we're going real chalkware. We've got some shrooms. So we've got the Miller chalkware. The mold stamp was copyrighted in 1976. So, you know, it's a late 70s um, mold um, chalkware piece. Again, ignore that number that's on there, but it's only eight bucks. There is a little bit, as chalkware does tend to get some damage, there's a little bit of a chip that's on the very back side of the smaller mushroom. <laughs> But you can see if you hold it square on, you actually can't see that damage. So you do have a piece of uh, stamped Miller chalkware from the late 70s. Great piece of um, boho chic. And maybe this one can go on the wall, Michelle, smaller piece. It is only $8, and you can get that by giving me number 87. $8, number 87 for the mushroom chalkware pieces. Piece. All right. Going back to some metal. We've got we've got napkin rings. So if you watch, if you're new to my channel, I have a video that I did a challenge that I issued October first, which was for my one year anniversary, and it was talking about vintage firsts. And the first thing I ever sold in my resale business was napkin rings. So I love when I see napkin rings. This is actually a really nice set of napkin rings. They are brass. They're they have a decent weight to them. Uh, they've got this really great vine and flower uh, motif that's running uh, running through them. This is again from Tallulah Road. 
Uh, and these are brass. Uh, she just has antique brass uh, napkin rings, but a set of four. And it's a set of four for only 12 bucks. So $12 for the set of four brass napkin rings, $12 by giving me number 92. 92, $12 for the napkin rings. And did anyone take the shrooms? Okay, well, it looks like Michelle is going to take the shrooms. So hopefully, you said, if no, uh, Michelle, you said if nobody buys them, you'll take the shroom. You know, it's, you, you're you doing boho. There's no such thing as wrong color when you're doing boho. So you, you'll, you'll give them a good home, and that's what's most important. Um, what was the shroom? What was the chalkware number? Oh, there it is. Uh, 87. 87. So Michelle at Comfy Cozy. All right, and we had somebody claiming... No, I think Mich Michelle's having a seizure. So she had two and then she had nine and then she had 92. So third time's a charm, 92, Michelle Ann gets the brass napkin rings. So congratulations, Michelle Ann for picking that up. All right. Um, we've got another piece of amber glass. This is a pilgrim glass pitcher diminutive in size it has the applied glass handle uh, on the side and it has the white um the white uh, glass coating over the amber glass itself so the inside you still just have the amber glass you can see the pontal mark is on the bottom so the glass itself was amber and then they applied the white glass into the drip slash confetti um pattern on the outside so this is pilgrim glass it is a great looking piece in great condition with the small um the small spout on the top with no chips no cracks it's only twelve dollars for the pilgrim glass twelve dollars you can get that by giving me number 95 twelve dollars 90 uh, what did i say don't no, 25 sorry twelve dollars 25 uh pays to look instead of just listen uh 25 12 dollars for the little pilgrim glass pitcher All right. This is gnomes have become like ridiculously popular. And I don't mean ridiculous in a pejorative way. It's just there. I saw them for the first time when I did Christmas and New Year in Austria last year. And I thought, oh, those are super cute. I hadn't seen those before. And now they're everywhere. So this, I just had to pick one up. So we had uh, one of the booths that wanted to participate had a little Christmas gnome. So you've got the little uh, snowflake stitched um, hat on him. Got the big nose, the big beard. He sits, he's fairly tall and he, sit, he sits very nicely. He's kind of got a weighted bottom. Um, so the amber pitcher, oh, so the rain flower is what that, that amber pitcher was. So thank you. I will make a note of that, uh, Deanna. Uh, that is good to know because I don't think anyone bought it. So I'll be putting that in the booth and it's good to mark that kind of stuff. So this is 10 inches tall. So you've got a pretty decent size, uh, little Christmas gnome. Uh, he is $14. And you get him by giving me number 84, 84, $14 for the little Christmas gnome. All right. We've going back to a mug. This one comes with his original box. It is a Rudolph uh, 50th anniversary mug by applause made in Korea. So again, not like super, super old, but definitely has some age to it. Uh, so 50th anniversary, I should have looked that up. What year that would have made it. Um, but it is marked made in Korea. So what you've got is a little Santa's workshop with Santa working at his table with Rudolph that looks like he's smoking a cigar. That can't possibly be what he's doing. What is he doing? Oh, he's, is that a paintbrush? Okay, see, from my, my vantage point, he's smoking a cigar. Uh, so anyway, so we've got the Rudolph mug. Again, perfect condition, no chips, no crack. It's the applause in its original box with the 50 years uh, anniversary edition mug by applause. It is only $6 for the mug. Oh, so Jen thinks it's a tool. I guess that makes sense, but I, I think it's a paintbrush. Um, $6 for the mug and it's available by giving me number one. $6 number one for the Rudolph mug in box. All right. Um, Somebody is asking about the dinner plates, but those did end up getting picked up. They didn't buy them initially, but Back Alley Garage picked up the two dinner plates. 
Um, all right, so the next item is again from uh, Merchant and the Maker. This is a cloisonne box. Okay, I say it's a box. Oh, there we go. Uh, it is a box and it is enameled on the inside, cloisonne on the outside, and it happens to have its own little wooden stand for the owl. So you've got a $12 cloisonne owl and the cloisonne is in great condition. So all of these little, um, all of these little, what look like gold lines are actually brass wires. You put the brass wires in and then you fill the enamel in between them. So cloisonne is actually a very difficult process. And this one has some very nice details uh, on its back and throughout its head. So it's only $12 for the cloisonne box on stand and it is $12, number 32. $12, number 32 for the cloisonne box on stand. All right. As Anchor, Anchor, Anchor Pearl and her name just flew by, Anchor Pearl Treasures um, said, you cannot have too many mugs. Although I, did anyone buy my Rudolph, did anyone buy the Rudolph mug? Nobody bought, can't have too many mugs, but evidently you have too many Rudolph mugs. Um, 32, the Cloisonne Owl went to, who'd it go to? Tippy Winks. Tippy Winks Vintage. And that was very popular. So thank you for all paying attention and trying to pick up the Cloisonne Owl. Um, Tippy Winks Vintage is the winner of that item for $12. Uh, so even though you did not pick up the Rudolph mug, we have another set of mugs. And these are Danoon, D-U-N-O-O-N, Danoon Scottish pottery mugs. So you've got a set of four. It has a black ground, which, you know, not necessarily always pos uh, you know, popular at Christmas time with the white interior where you've got a black ground, black ground with the red poinsettia and green leaves on the sides. It is a set of four. All four of them are in perfect condition. They are um, a total of $16 for the set. So four of the Danoon pottery made in Scotland. It is marked on the bottom. Danoon stoneware made in Scotland. It is available for $16 by giving me number 79. $16, 79 for the set of four Danoon pottery pieces pottery mugs. And yes, Lucy Curios, it was a black background. All right. Next item, we got a little small item here coming up. This is... Uh, so Tippy Wings Vintage is asking us to bill her, but send it to Carrie in Austin. Uh, so we can do that. So Tippy Winks, thank you for picking that up. And Casey ATX, uh, will be getting a shipment. So that's a very nice gift. Thank you for picking that up. So we've got a pair of smalls, uh, salt and pepper shakers. Uh, this again, just a really cute piece, vintage rooster and chicken. And some really nice detail on the rooster. You can see there's quite a bit of feather detail uh, in there, but they're probably all white with then the red uh, combs on both the the hen and the rooster in great condition. Um, this one still has its cork in situ. This one has its cork, but it has fallen inside of it. So sorry. Uh, it is only six bucks. So $6 for the pair of rooster and hen salt and pepper shakers, six bucks, number 80, number 80, $6 for the rooster and hen salt and pepper shakers. All right. Next item is something I had never seen before. You see this oak leaf pattern, this gold uh, pattern with the frosted glass. See that in glassware pretty often, uh, the golden fo foliage design. I'd never seen it in a decanter that was once used to sell the alcohol. So this still has the label on it for Arrow Extra Dry Vodka. So you still have the original label on that. You still have the tax uh, label, tax tape across it, 
uh, as well as the tax stamp on the shoulder. So you have a pretty amazing uh, decanter that would look great with, a lot of people have the glassware. I'd never seen a decanter. So when I saw this one, I definitely wanted to make sure we picked that up and include it in the sale because it's only 20 bucks. So $20 for the Aero Extra Dry Vodka. And I believe the way it's designed is this is just a label. So you'd be able to peel this off and just make it a decanter. Um, but right now you've still got the, the label with the tax stamp. It's only 20 bucks. $20 for the Golden Foliage decanter. 20 bucks by giving me number 23. And no, Michelle, there is no vodka in it. So $20, number 23 for the Golden Foliage decanter. All right. The next Karen item. By Melanie got the, uh, rooster. What was the number? Uh, 80. All right. So number 80, the rooster and hen salt and pepper shaker went to who? Serendipity by Melanie. Serendipity by Melanie. So thank you for picking up another item. Appreciate that. All right. Anyone take the decanter? No. All right. Well, she's going to tell me I've got to say it's for hers. So that was from Suzanne's <laughs> booth. All right. So the next item is um, a set of four of the Pimpernel style, although I do not know that these are Pimpernel. There are no labels on the back anymore, so I can't swear they're the Pimpernel, but they're the Pimpernel style placemats. These are fairly large and they're all of a golf pattern. So you've got the four different designs of the, of the history, historical golfing designs, which is again why I think they are Pimpernel and they are definitely of the Pimpernel style uh, but Cloverleaf did that same type of style as well. This is a set of four that is available for $8, but I happen that these are actually from my booth and I happen to have two sets available. So they're $8 a set. If you want to just enter the number twice. If you, otherwise it's the first two people that we see on our end, I uh, will each claim them. So $8 for each set, $8, and you can get them by giving me number 20. $8 for number 20 for the set of four of a fairly large size Pimpernel style ice mats. All right. Uh, this one is again from one of the newer vendors uh, trying to find different things uh, to mix it up uh, in our sale. This is a somewhat um, uh, interesting stand up and you can kind of see it kind of stands on its own two, you know, two feet gingerbread woman. I guess, uh, and a little plaid coat uh, holding a bag of flour, I, which I'm sorry, that's just disturbing in many ways. The gingerbread the gingerbread woman is holding a bag of flour. I, I, I don't even wanna know what she's about to go do, but regardless, the cannibal is holding a floral spray and uh, she's fairly tall. She's, uh, let's see if I can measure this puppy up a little bit. Uh, she's 19 inches tall. So she's got some height to her. She's got some pretty scrawny legs on her. Um, but the little rick rack around the edges and just kind of a cool looking, uh, again, not sure how old this one is. We couldn't really find tags or anything or if it's uh, handmade, but it was marked as a Christmas, Christmas tabletop decor. It's only $25. And you can get that by giving me number 96, $25 for the cannibal gingerbread woman uh, baker uh, holding the floral spray for 96. All right. Uh, this actually is coming out of my booth um, as I brought in Christmas, as would be necessary. It uh, looks like um, Katie from Vintage and Vinyl is picking up the uh, golden leaf, um, golden foliage decanter. So thank Number you, Katie, 23. for picking that up. What was it? Number 23. Thank you. Um, as I brought in the Christmas into my booth, the fact of the matter is I didn't have space for everything. So I had to take items that were not selling and take them out. And what I discovered is I had a, a variety of cookbooks in my booth and I had made the mistake that several of the books did not have spines. Um, so the uh, without the spines, it's very difficult to even know what these are. So they were getting lost in my booth. So I just decided to pull them all out and sell them as a lot. So what I have is a 1964 cocktail guide a 1972 Nordic Ware um, recipe book. 
So Nordic Ware with the recipes inside. A 1948 Metropolitan Cookbook, Metropolitan Life Insurance, uh, with recipes and general information uh, there. A 1976 book, Cooking is Fun, Cooking with Kids, as opposed to probably Cooking Kids, which might be what that gingerbread woman was doing. Uh, the Wherever New Method Cooking Instruction Book from 1937. Uh, that actually has the holes punched into it uh, to be able to put it into a binder. Uh, but the Wherever Aluminum uh, trademark on the back. So that's from 1937 as the recipes in that one. Uh, a 1951 50th Year Kalamazoo Golden Jubilee from 1901 to 1951. So you've got another uh, book from the Kalamazoo Stove and Furnace Company from Kalamazoo, Michigan. And the last one is the All Sweet Margarine um, recipe book, which I could not find a date on. So you can kind of see from the graphics, you know, make your own conclusions of when you think this is from. What I found most fascinating about it was this information on the back that said, All Sweet is sold in yellow packaging where law permits. Everywhere else is white. Because since it wasn't actually butter, laws said they couldn't have yellow packaging. And I find that fascinating. Uh, so anyway, so you have all sweet oleo margarine uh, recipe book. So you get seven different recipe books and cocktail books all mixed together. All seven of these books, it's a total of 12 bucks. So $12 for these seven recipe books, $12 by giving me number four. Number four, $12 for the seven recipe books. All right. Uh, a couple tins in the sale tonight. Uh, this is one of them. This happens to be a potpourri press from Greensboro, North Carolina, made in the USA. It is a Santa tin with a red cover. It is pristine on the inside, which leads me to believe I am not sure how old uh, this, this piece actually is. But it's definitely got the vintage look. It looks fantastic, and it's only 10 bucks. So $10 for the vintage and or vintage look Christmas tin. $10 by giving me number 41. $10 for number 41. All right, I don't know if Nathaniel is still in the sale tonight, uh, but Nathaniel is our, our uh, one of our biggest fans from New Zealand, and he is also a big fan of Wedgwood. And tonight, we've got Wedgwood. So this is a Wedgwood Christmas plate from 1969. So it's the Wedgwood Christmas plate, 1969, uh, that has, oh, I've already forgotten what it was. Was it Balmoral Castle, everybody? All together now, let's let's recognize our British landmarks. Uh, Windsor Castle, I think. Why does this not say? Blue and white Jasper Ware, Windsor Castle. Okay, I win. I win my own contest. Um, so we've got the Christmas 1969 Windsor Castle. Oh, Hello, if I held it up a little bit closer, it says Windsor Castle right there. Um, so you can all laugh at me now, but this is the blue, light blue Jasper Ware piece. It does come with its original box, Christmas 1969, in honor of, uh, of Nathaniel in New Zealand, um, who will basically be sunning on the beach while we were celebrating Christmas. But uh, this is $12, $12 for the Wedgwood Christmas plate, $12 by giving me number 17, $12, 17 for the Windsor Castle Wedgwood plate, which Katie decided she needed to point out that that's what it says. So, uh, the gingerbread girl in um, request of Lucid Curios. You can see the detail in the face. There's the hat, does not come off, the hat is sewn into place. The florals are also sewn into place, so they don't, they're not just held there loosely. The apron that she's wearing is also sewn on. So this is, you know, you wouldn't be able to change your clothes. And the feet do have a, a platform on the bottom because that is like, that is how she stands. So she does stand very well and fairly stably, stable um, because there is like a wooden or some sort of brace there in the bottom. Um, so she is a $25 and she was number... 96. 96. All right. Someone wants to see number four, or wants to take number four. Michelle Becker wants to take number four. Michelle Becker gets the cookbook lot for $12. Oh, okay. 
Thank you, Michelle, for picking up the cookbook lot. All right, this next item happens to be another plate. This happened to have two in a row here. Uh, this is a, uh, comes in its original box. It's, and I apologize, I don't speak French. So, Guin uh, Trois Saisons, which I'm assuming means three seasons, uh, is one plate. It's a fairly large plate. Um, so, I'd say it's probably a chop plate or a serving plate of some sort. It is 12 inches across, so a little bit bigger than a dinner plate. It has the Guin uh, France stamp on the back uh, and says style Marie Pierre Boitard. The box definitely has some age to it. Um, this is the box that it comes in. I don't know if there used to be something that covered this cardboard back, but there's the paper label on the front that actually says uh, Guin uh, name to it. Uh, the plate itself is in great condition, has a scalloped edge and the detail is a floral pattern all the way around the outside with a white ground in the middle. So the Guin France Troy, 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 Saison, uh, three seasons plate, I don't know what they have against the fourth season, is uh, a 12 inch plate in its original box, $8 by giving me number 14, $8 number 14 for the Guin, Guin, uh, France plate. Okay, uh, Dawn, Sean, Quiler, make fun of me. Tell me how to pronounce that. Jean. Uh, $8, number 14 for the French plate. Oh, and Dawn buys it. Okay. Dawn likes all things French. So the Guillon front plate in box goes to Dawn Schunkweiler. Apparently, Louis just wanted to see your, your reaction to looking on how you look at the things of French. Okay. <laughs> I've got another piece. I had a, I've had Korok on my sale before. And I've got another piece of Korok. This one is uh, of a quail. So you've got a smallish tray um, that is six by seven. So you've got this decorative tray. If you're not familiar with Korok, it is um, all of the design made within those uh, within that bird. Those are inlays of wood, precious metals, depending on what the pattern is. All cherished gifts because of their great variety and beauty and design, hand inlaid by master craftsmen, shells, coins, woods, and metals are fused into Korok's famous satin black material, which is impervious to alcohol, boiling water, and cigarette burns. And I believe their catchphrase is any tray can serve any any tray can serve a drink. Korok starts a conversation. So they are amazing pieces. They did start in the 50s and 60s. So they did last a little bit longer than that. But a lot of them do definitely have a mid-century modern appeal. Uh, this is a great uh, look of a quail. It is $14.95, $15, $15. And you can get it by giving number five. $15, number five for the Korok tray, which happens to be mine uh, coming out of my booth. All right. Here's something I have never had because I find it sad, um, but I know they're popular. So I, when I found one, I definitely wanted to include it uh, in the sale. Uh, so number five, the Kurok tray went to... Who? No. I don't even see her. Yes, no, she's making some comment. Oh, about a year, I guess. First she put in 1069, so I was confused. Uh, Jen Bootsy. Jen Bootsy, okay. That's who I saw, but again, sometimes I'm, I'm not seeing it correctly. So Jen Bootsy got number five, the Korok quail uh, pattern. And it looks like there's a question that, um, well, is somebody, uh, can you ask Lisa if we ship internationally? <laughs> because I don't know who we is. If somebody wants to ship that to Nate, I am all for it, but it's gonna be expensive. So someone's gonna have to own up to it. If they pay for it, okay, yeah. if somebody pays for it, we can put you down for the uh, Wedgwood plate for Nate. The oh, Wedgwood plate yeah. is actually from my booth, so I, I, I have no problem trying to figure that out. Um, but we can figure out how much it's going to cost, and we will get we will we will figure that out. All right. So as I mentioned, I never have these because I find it depressing how little these sell for. Just it's it's criminal. These Afghans are amazing works of art. The number of hours that go into them is timeless. And the, even just the yarn costs more than what some of these are. Some of these, um, some of these Afghans tend to sell for. This one is a small-ish size, so it definitely be more of a lap quilt. Um, but it has the pattern with a different color 
uh, greens, blues, light greens, dark greens, some purples uh, with a, I would say a black border. Would you say it's yeah, black or is that dark blue? So it's black in between each of the squares with a dark blue trim with then like a slightly different color, blue, bluish green in the corners. This is an amazing piece, it is extremely well made, it's extremely amazing design, and it's only $18, which I'm sorry, is freaking criminal, but that's what happens. So you've got this great vintage piece, $18, and you can get this for giving me number 46. $18, number 46. Okay. Next piece, we got a big box. Don't lose the tag. So this is um, a 13 piece drink set. For those of you who've watched my sale before, you wonder where are the coasters? Well, here they come because this is from my booth. It is available in its original box. Basically, it's screaming uh, Beverly Hills 90210. Um, so we're looking at probably the 90s, late 80s, early 90s, and it is totally stuck in this box. It is a drink set of acrylic tumblers with a pa uh, palm tree pattern on six individual tumblers and six coasters all still in their original packaging so you've got this little tray which also comes with some silverware uh plastic silverware that came when i got it um so you've got this little silverware cutlery tray uh, coasters napkins anything you'd want for drinks by the pool um so you've got this little set of acrylic tumblers in its original box 13 pieces, 16, six piece, 14 ounce acrylic, double old fashions, six plastic coasters and one wire cat, one wire caddy. Uh, and I don't think there was a maker on this. Uh, there was, oh yeah, there was a made in Taiwan for the Allied Stores International. And there is an original price tag. The price has been worn off, but I didn't recognize whose tag that was. Um, so you've got this entire set is available for only 10 bucks. So $10 for the box tray and all of its glassware, $10, give me number 15. $10, number 15 for the set of drinkware. Karen Dondelinger got the Afghan number? Uh, 46. 46. All right, thanks, Karen, for picking that up. We'll ship that to San Francisco. All right, the next one is another pair uh, that we pulled together. These were two um, thermoses that would look great just in any vintage decor, but specifically could look great at Christmas time. You've got the Aladdin, Aladdin's plaid thermos bottle here, and you also have the Aladdin Vanguard with the Starburst design all the way around. They're both red and black. You can see one is slightly taller than the other. They both have their liners. They both have their tops. They both have their cups. It's a great looking piece. It's a great pair. And you can have the two of them for $28 by giving me number 22. $28, number 22 for the pair of Aladdin thermos bottles. All right. Next item is a little wooden sculpture on driftwood. It's another owl. So you got this great looking owl mounted on this piece of driftwood. Uh, from what I could tell when I looked at it, I couldn't find a signature or anything. So I'm not sure necessarily if it's, if it's who would have made it. Um, but it is a dark, probably, I don't know, Katie would be the most knowledgeable of the wood. There's a little bit of wood grain in its back. I'm not sure if you can see it. Um, but it's primarily a very, very dark brown that I'm assuming is walnut, but I do not know for sure. It's a great looking piece on a piece of driftwood. It is $19 for the wooden owl on the, on the wood. $19 by giving me number 38. $19, 38 for the wooden owl on wood sculpture. Okay. Michelle, Jeff got the 
the um, drink set. Uh, what number? Uh, 15. 15 went to who are again again? Michelle Decker. Michelle Decker got the and, drink set in box. And then um, Precious Lavender Buttons bought the number 22 with the um, Aladdin. So number 22, the Aladdin pair went to Precious Lavender Buttons. All right. Thank you very much uh, for picking that up as well. Another piece is a one that we struggled a little bit to know specifically if we had um, a vintage piece or it was just made from vintage wood. But we definitely have an angel that has been made into uh, some barn wood that's been made into an angel motif with, an, with the applied wings as well as a little stand in the back. So it gives it a little bit of weight to hold it upright. Uh, it's got that distressed look to it, white overall, but definitely has some appeal with the wear on the wood uh, for the angel. So you've got the angel is $13 for the distressed wooden angel, $13. You can have that by giving me number 52. 52, $13 for the distressed wooden angel. And you guys are all too kind. I'm here seeing all everyone chipping in for paying for freight to uh, Nathaniel. I The rustic fox is going to kill me. I have no idea how we're supposed to do this, but we'll figure it out. Um, I had a ball jar earlier that held Christmas ornaments. Now I've got an older ball jar that is holding um, artificial apples. This one, though, has the milk glass liner. So this one does have legit age. And I know about milk glass liners because of Suzanne. When she we did our uh, comfy trusty meetup, she actually found a bunch of these and she told me that the older ones are the ones with milk glass and those are the desirable ones. So you've got a great looking ball jar with a milk, ja milk glass liner plus some well, funky apples to go along with it. And it's only 15 bucks. $15 for the ball jar with the milk glass liner. $15 and you can get that by giving me number 60. $15 number 60 for the vintage ball glass jar. Number 38, the owl, which empty nesting two. Empty nesting two picked up number 38, the owl on driftwood. So thank you very much, Maria, for picking that up. Going back to some porcelain. Uh, this is a home co made in Taiwan Christmas piece. You've got your little Christmas elf woodworker making his doll. It still has the original home co label on it. This is made in Taiwan, so it's a Taiwanese age um, uh, home co piece. It is in great condition. He's sitting on a little wooden trunk. There's some great detail in both the doll, his beard and the wooden trunk. And he's only $14. So $14 for a little home co elf wood, wood make a toy maker. $14 by number, give me number 57, $14, 57 for the home co elf. All right, and somebody just picked up the ball jar with the apples. Looks like it went to Ashley, Ashley Schoen, who has a booth here. She's the one who she's the one who sold the Afghan, so or is possibly related to the person who sold the Afghan. Just the Schoen name is where Schoen Toys was, and that's where I got the Afghan. So uh, bell jars, bell jar apples went to Ashley Schoen. Thank you for picking that up and. No, no shipping costs, which may be a good thing because Judy is saying that a shipment to um, New Zealand is going to cost $150. So <laughs> we will see what ends up happening with that. Um, all right. Next piece is, a, I don't think, this is probably the only creamer and sugar I think I've got in the sale tonight. It's a little Wade, uh, made in England, handmade, hand-painted. Uh, miniature, or that, they're not miniature, they're probably maybe from a child set. It's just relatively small. It is a little creamer and sugar decorated on both sides with burgundy uh, colored flowers on a cream ground with the gold accents, as well as the sugar that has the lid uh, all in perfect shape, no chips, no cracks, great condition, two great little pieces. It's only $10 for the pair, 10 bucks and you get that by giving me number 13. $10, number 13 for the creamer and sugar from Wade. All right. Coming up next, uh, we had some ceramic mugs previously. Now we got some glass mugs. So these are 
I, I'm not sure, I never, how do you say this one, Arcarock? I think so. Ar the Arcarock France, it's the, it's the glass, I think it's Arcarock, I'm not 100% sure. Um, the vintage glass mugs from Arcarock France, they are, uh, they have the uh, stamp into the glass on the bottom. It is a set of four of these handled mugs, glass handled mugs with the Christmas tree patterns. You've got the Christmas tree on the front and a little garland that runs across the top. So you've got the set of four vintage mugs, all of the Christmas motif. Uh, they are available for $12. The set of four is only $12. And you can get those by giving me number 34. Number 34, $12 for the set of four glass Christmas mugs. All right, another Christmas item that we had, uh, that we found in the floor, which sounded, looked so cool. Wanted to make sure I included it in the sale. It's this box that's made from vintage Christmas cards. So you've got these old cards that have been holes punched into the sides and then sewn together to then have another, uh, I don't know if it's another card or something sewn onto the backside to give you the interior of the box. It is super cool, um, finished, unfinished on the bottom, but you've got all of these styles. The cards are all slightly different styles, all different patterns that make up the box. It's very lightweight because there must be something that's holding these cards together, like maybe an insert or something, because it's um, they're not flexible, but it's still super lightweight because you're basically talking about a box made from Christmas cards. So this is a $16 for the vintage Christmas card box. What did I just say? $16, and you can get that by giving me number 58. $16, number 58, for the vintage Christmas card box. And then, Bootsy, you got number 34. The number 34, the, uh, mugs. the glass mugs, Arcarock mugs, went to uh, number 34. The set of four mugs went to Jen Bootsy. So thanks, Jen, for picking that up. Uh, another item that, again, probably uh, clearly does not fall into the Uber vintage category, um, but thought it was kind of cute, was this uh, little... Uh, number of days till Christmas sign that was made. So you've got the little box, the little numbers um, in the truck, in the truck back, truck bed with a little Christmas tree. It says three girls and a wish, which I'm assuming is who made it. Um, may have been made yesterday, may have been made a couple of years ago. Not really sure. It's just a cool looking piece with that vintage look, that red pickup truck look. Uh, it's only 12 bucks. So $12 for the little days, till Christ days left till Christmas sign. $12 by giving me number 53. $53, $12 for the little wooden sign. And yes, I'm talking faster because I've been doing this for two hours and there's still a lot of stuff left. Uh, all right, I'm going to go into some true vintage again. This is Jensen's Hardware, Arcadia, Wisconsin, a wooden level. You can see the little bubble is still there in the level and ruler. You can see on the back side, with the Jensen Hardware um, stamp right there on there from our Ar Arcadia, Wisconsin. This great industrial look, a very simple, you know, advertising piece that would have been given out by this hardware store in Wisconsin it is only $9, $9 for this awesome ruler slash vintage level. And I think it's fantastic that the bubble and liquid is still in there to make it a functional, uh, functional piece. So $9 for the Jensen hardware ruler by giving me number 67. $9.67 for the vintage level. Uh, 53 looks like it went to somebody. Yeah, Serendipity by Melody. So Serendipity by Melody got the little truck with the numbers. And number 67, the wooden level looks like went to Dawn Shankweiler. All right, this pair probably wins the award for the most expensive item I'm going to have here tonight uh, because we decided to take two items and pair them up so they didn't get separated. We've got two uh, Cinderella bowls. I think they're still called Cinderella bowls, even though they're not, but they've got the batter pouring on both sides. You've got the larger size and the smaller size. The smaller size is priced at 18. The larger size is priced at 25. They're in really good condition. You've got a little bit of a color scratch underneath the large daisy in the center on one side. The other side is in great condition. Um, holding them up to the light, you know, I don't even see that. You know, so the big one is in great condition. 
uh, and the littler one seems to be in even better condition. Um, I don't see any any losses to that color. Um, it's kind of a butterscotch color, not yellow. Uh, is there an official name? I, mean, I don't do Pyrex. Do you do Pyrex? Oh, um, butterfly, I think. The color. The color. Because um, it's not, it's, it's kind of coming across true. It's not, it's a little yellowish it's tan. Like, yeah, butterscotch. I think. Yeah, butterscotch is the closest I can come up with. So you get the pair of these. 18 plus 25. Oh my God, I got to do math. So $43. So $43 for the pair of Pyrex. And you can get the pair of Pyrex by giving me number 97. $43, number 97 for the Butterfly Gold. Thank you, Aaron. Uh, Butterfly Gold, a pair of Pyrex bowls. Butterfly Gold is the pattern. Yeah, Butterfly Gold is the pattern name. Um, all right. Got another dog. Because uh, again, remember, number do the dog is in honor of Just One More Dachshund Rescue. Next week is the fundraiser for the Dachshund Rescue. Uh, this is not a Dachshund, but we have another dog. So this is just super cute. I don't know what kind of breed that is. I don't know if that's a Cocker Spaniel. I think it's a Spaniel. But he's got like a bandage on his head and looks like, he, I don't know if that's a, it's like a little bandage on his side of his mouth, another bandage there on that side of his mouth. He's in his play bow stage, but he's he's been he's been beaten up. But he is not beaten up in the porcelain. He's in perfect condition. He's got the Japanese stamp on the bottom of it. He's in great shape. Uh, no chips, no cracks. Little boo boo dog, uh, and he's only six bucks. Six dollars. I agree. I think it is a cocker, uh, Kelly. Um, so six dollars for the boo boo cocker spaniel. Six dollars by giving me number ten. Six dollars, number ten for the cocker spaniel. And number number ninety seven goes the Pyrex pair goes to old stuff Beth in Texas. All right, thank you Beth for picking up the uh, uh, sets of Pyrex. And the bandage dog went to Judy Scallet. So congratulations Julie for pick, Judy for picking up the dog. Uh, another piece of jewelry. Uh, this was actually tagged as a car charm. I'm not exactly sure what that means. Um, put it on your mirror. I guess uh, Susan is saying to put it on your mirror. I assumed it was a keychain, um, but I evidently it's supposed to be more of a car charm. So you've got another owl. I don't know. I guess uh, subliminally, um, she and I were pulling owls tonight. So you've got this owl with a kind of little beaded design on the on the wing. Uh, and it is both front and back. So it's got the beading on his tail, on the bottom, as well as on the wing of, on the side. It's a great looking piece. It is $18.99, so it's $19. $19 for the little metal car charm by giving me number 64. $64, $19 for the little owl car charm. All right, another piece of glass. This one is actually from my booth. And this one, actually, if you were to pay really, really close attention, um, if you saw my show off your bunker challenge, this was in it. This is another piece that I'm retiring from my personal collection because I got another piece that I liked better. I love purple. It just didn't look good in the location where it was. So I'm passing it on. It's got the branch uh, supports along the bottom and the impression, the mold, uh, molded grass at the bottom. So you've got this nature motif within the vines kind of going up the sides. It's not quite a swung glass. There's a little bit too much uniformity in the top. So I think it was really patterned to be, go that way. Um, but it is a great looking piece. It's a very deep purple uh, showing pretty true onto the screen. It's a great looking purple vase that again, comes out of my personal collection straight into this sale. Uh, it is only $12. So $12 for the purple glass branch vase. I give me number 11. $12, number 11 for the purple glass vase. We're going to do a run of glass here for a second. So we've got another crackle glass. This is a powder blue crackle glass vase with a ruffled trim. Uh, ice blue, very, very light, kind of coming across in the camera there. It's in great condition. Uh, no chips over on the top. You know, you got the crackle glass, but that's supposed to be there. Uh, but what's nice about it is it's cool that it's only in the bowl of the vase. And as it goes up into the neck, it's it's clear again. So you've just got a really interesting looking vase, clear toward the top, crackle at the bottom. 
it's only ten dollars for the blue crackle glass ten dollars you can get it for giving me number 24. ten dollars number 24 for the ice blue crackle glass vase and it looks like number 11 went to amy hopkins all right thank you amy for picking up the purple glass vase and sure and just grab the what number was that one what was that number? Uh, 24. So Serendipity by Melanie picked up the blue crackle glass vase. So thank you, Melanie, for picking that up. Uh, another good piece of glass within my reach. Uh, this comes from Kathy's Creations. So she took an art glass bowl, which has this flared handle that comes up on the sides to meet at the top. Um, took this with kind of a animal print or swirl print uh, on the sides, clear on the edges with that uh, dark brown on brown uh, design running on all on the bottom. And then she put some Christmas um, baubles on the inside. And it's just a great looking centerpiece of a, a very nice size. It is about 14 inches long, it's 14 inches wide. So you've got a really nice size and just a really nice piece of glass that's been added with some moss, some natural syrup, and then the glitter of the ornaments. So you can take those out and use this for, you know, throughout the year. It is only 20 bucks. So $20 for the art glass table centerpiece from Kathy's Creations. 20 bucks by giving me number 75. $20, number 75 for the art glass centerpiece. All right. Next item is a piece of McCoy. Uh, looks like um, Serendipity by Melanie. Do you have Serendipity? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Serendipity by Melanie picked up the uh, centerpiece bowl. So thank you, Melanie, for picking that up. You'll have a nice size box going out to you, but we will package it well, and you'll get some good uh, you get some good rates uh, shipping from here. So this is a McCoy piece. Uh, technically, it's the creamer from a sugar and creamer, but this has such a great look to it. It doesn't even look like a creamer. It just looks like it's a small vessel, small pitcher, but wouldn't this look great with an air plant in it or any sort of a planter? It has that uh, powder blue and the light pink designs. Not, the bright lights are a little too bright here, um, so it's not coming across very clearly. Um, but it's got the primarily blue that runs around the body, and then the sides are where the floral designs are. The sides have the pink. Uh, so it is McCoy. It is marked McCoy right on the bottom, and it is uh, $14. So you've got the McCoy pitcher, uh, small pitcher, McCoy creamer, $14. You can have that by giving me number 30. $14, number 30 for the McCoy creamer. Uh, another piece of Christmas. Uh, this is a vintage Fitz and Floyd piece. Um, it is marked with the original Fitz and Floyd label still on the bottom, Fitz and Floyd Japan. Uh, it does have a care label on it as well. So this is in great condition, it wasn't really used, but does have the age of the original Japan uh, Fitz and Floyd. So this is not part of the Fitz and Floyd Essentials, which is made in China. Uh, so this definitely has some age to it. Um, I don't know if those are supposed to be Santas. Uh, there's three Santas back to back, or if those are supposed to be elves or they kind of look like gnomes. Um, but regardless, you've got three of them basically creating a footed, a standing compote uh, candy dish with the uh, poinsettia holly, or the holly motif in the middle. It's only 12 bucks, $12 for the vintage Fitz and Floyd, $12 by giving me number nine, $12 number nine for the vintage Fitz and Floyd candy compote. <laughs> So number 30, the McCoy Creamer went to Connie Cable. So thank you, Connie, for picking that up. Uh, going with another piece of uh, pottery, ceramic, porcelain. Uh, this is a great size uh, bird. Um, we've got a bird on a branch. In total height, he is almost eight inches tall. So he's a, he's a, he's a big boy. Um, he is... Uh, not marked on the bottom. He's also not glazed on the bottom. 
he's in great condition. There's no chips. He's got a couple flowers, a couple leaves that protrude, and none of those are damaged. His beak is not chipped. His wings are not chipped. This is an item I had at my other booth, which I just shut down. Uh, so I'm bring. I was gonna be. I brought it, brought it over here. It still has the old tag on it. So it's fourteen ninety five. So fifteen dollars for the porcelain bird on branch. Again, fairly large size, uh, with a great look on his face. Fourteen ninety five. Fifteen dollars by giving me number sixteen. Sixteen for fifteen dollars for the bird on branch. All right, we're going to a piece of vintage um, hobby ceramics, DIY ceramics, a napkin holder in the shape of a Christmas tree. So this one, unfortunately, did not have the foresight by its owner to be signed on the bottom. Um, it was glazed on the bottom, which is a complete rookie mistake, but there are the stilt marks on there to uh, alleviate that. So you've got a fairly, it would hold quite a quite a wide bulk of uh, napkins. It could even hold a small towel. Um, I'm assuming it's a napkin holder though, but it could be in your bathroom for, you know, a small guest towel or something like that. It's in great shape considering it probably is from the 70s or 80s. Uh, and it has the little holly and branch motif at the bottom. So this is only $13 for the DIY hobbyist ceramic piece. $13 uh, for the napkin holder and it's number 68. $13.68 for the ceramic Christmas tree holder. Michelle Decker got your bird number 15. So number 16 went to Michelle Decker, uh, the bird. So thank you for picking that up. Uh, we've got a piece of kitchen ware, got a kitchen chopper. Uh, it has the 14 out, has the ounces marked on the sides, 14 ounces all the way down. It has the wooden platform at the bottom to hit the chopper, it's got the spring loading, and it's got the wooden uh, knob at the top. Simple, great, uh, vintage kitchen gadget. It's only eight bucks. Eight dollars for the kitchen chopper, eight dollars by giving me number 19. Eight dollars, 19 for the kitchen chopper. All right. Because a lot of these are reproduced, when we come across the real thing, I like to be able to show them off. So this is a vintage pair of spice jars in the milk glass. So you've got milk glass. It happens to be a pair of sugar sugar and pepper. And yes, Beth, I am exhausted because uh, I worked all day today. <laughs> so sugar and pepper. It has the original black uh, tops um, with definitely has some distress in those. But the, the milk glass is in fantastic shape. There's no chips. There's no cracks. And even looking at the inside rim, the inside is also in absolutely fantastic condition. So you've got the pair of milk glass spice jars, sugar and pepper available. They're $10 each. So it's $20 for the pair, $20 for the two. If I give me number 37, $20, number 37 for pepper and sugar shakers in the original milk glass and black metal lids. All right. Next item we've got also more Christmas, but this time it's a Christmas vintage apron. And I don't know how this ever started, but yes, I will wear it. <laughs> and because I'm in public, we know I have my pants today. So I can you know put this on and you can see what it looks like and how big this is. This can wrap all the way around and not quite come back the other side. So it's not like a super long string, but it's a pretty long string, so my girth can very easily fit within this. Uh, it is only $8. It has the vintage Christmas fabric. It's got pockets uh, on there and just some cool vintage design. Uh, definitely, uh, probably something homemade, I would say. There's no labels or anything in it, but the stitching is actually pretty good. So it was machine made, not by hand. Vintage apron it is only $8, and you can get that by giving me number 76. $8, number 76 for the vintage apron. Yes, Mrs. Doubtfire has returned. All right. Um, the next item is an unsigned, an unmarked pan panther, uh, leopard, cougar, puma in this green glaze planter. 
So it has the look of a TV lamp, but it's actually a planter. It's a very shallow planter, so it would look good with a series of, uh, of uh, air plants in there. But it's just a really cool looking mid-century modern, definitely with a glaze and just that sleek uh, panther look that was, was popular with TV, um, TV lamps and things like that. It's a really low profile, so it will look great with some other items coming up behind it. It's only 25 bucks, $25 for the green uh, panther planter, $25 by giving me number 29, $25, number 29 for the green panther planter. Uh, we just had somebody claim 76. Which one was it? Christy, Christy Jessica took the uh, apron. All right. Thank you, Christy, for picking that up. Uh, we've got another piece. Um, I've never actually worn a hat before. Um, I, where's the front of this? The, the feathers are going the back, the right? Back. All right, Lovely. so we've got some, uh, I don't know, I'm kind of feeling a little bit like uh, Robin Hood, but with pheasant feathers sticking out. So we've got this great looking hat. It is marked August, 100% uh, wool, spot clean only. It has a little bit of a leather band on it, and then these fantastic feathers coming out. Rustic Fox is going to kill me because this is going to be a pain to ship but it's a cool looking piece. Um, so I really don't do, again, clothing all that often. So when I saw this one, I just thought we had a lot of pheasants, quails, things like that. So now we've got the you know dead bird feathers right here on the hat. Uh, so you can have this is only, to me, it's only 20 bucks. This is a great looking hat with an amazing feather uh, band on it. It's only $20 and you can have that by giving me number 74. $20, number 74 for the felt or the wool uh, felt hat. All right, if you follow me on Facebook or on uh, Instagram, you would have seen this as one of my preview items. I picked this up over the weekend and it was coming straight into my booth and straight into the sale. Everyone loves Hager and Hager was made about 10 miles away. So we come across it fairly often, but this was one I'd never seen. This is a Hager lava glaze piece from the 80s. It has the original paper label on it from 1986. It's still, uh, the paper label is in situ. What I really liked about this one is you can tell if you hold it flat and set it flat, it has a slope to it. So the opening of the vase is actually slightly at an angle. It is like a pewter gunmetal glaze right, over we'll an yeah. ox blood red base. Drips all the way down to the bottom and unfinished bottom. It's fantastic. Uh, love this piece, love the looks of it. And I'm being told to read the comments. I'm supposed to be checking another number. No, that's my mistake, yes. I'm wrong. The last one was uh, Carolina Princess. So 76 was? The apron, yes. Went to who? Carolina Princess. Okay, Carolina Princess got the Christmas apron, not Krista, just us. So thank you so much for uh, uh, owning up to that. Uh, we do make mistakes. Um, you know, Suzanne makes mistakes. I'm infallible. <laughs> uh, so anyway, so this is a Hager Lava Glaze. Absolutely amazing piece. Great size. Again, you know, size of my head. It is only 30 bucks. So $30 for this piece of Hager, $30 by giving you number, give me number seven. Number seven, $30 for the Lava Glaze Hager vase. Got a small uh, item here that has the vintage look, but I'm not sure is necessarily vintage. It's these little milk jars in this little chicken wire container. So it's great for country kitchen, farmhouse look. It's just a fantastic, you know, looking little piece. Turn these into vases, turn them into hold whatever you want. It's just a super cool piece. It's only $15. So $15 for this super little piece of kitchen, you know, kitchen kitsch. Uh, $15 by giving me number 61. $15, number 61 for the milk jar, milk bottles in the chicken wire container. Um, so we had somebody come in at number seven. Amy Hopkins picks up the Hager. So thank you, Amy, for picking that up. 
All right. Uh, this is uh, another large pottery piece. Um, this was, is again, this is from my booth. Unfortunately, I couldn't figure out who this was. So if anyone can help me on this, I would fell in love with this. Absolutely in love with it. I have no interest in building a coffee pot collection, but this, this kind of a matte finish on the glaze, this pomegranate, you know, painting motif on both the front and the back. It has the shallower spout, which I think might be might make this a chocolate pot, but it's probably just a coffee pot. But I think the short spout qualifies this as a chocolate pot as well. Um, there's some really cool detail on the um, the top. It doesn't have a tab or anything. It's just slightly oblong. So there is only one way to go in. So I think that this actually was individually made. I don't think this was a high production piece. It's just a super cool pattern. It's got this ribbing on it. I want to say it's English, but there's absolutely no mark on the bottom. So I do not know where it's from. I don't know who made it. I tried a bunch of things. I tried Google Lens. I just, I need to let it move on. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to be perfectly honest, sad to see it go, but I don't need to start another collection. So you've got this absolutely beautiful, tall uh, coffee pot slash chocolate pot, and it's only $15. So $15 for this great looking piece uh, decorated on all sides. $15 by giving me number eight. $15 number eight for the coffee pot. All right. Next item, we have uh, something from Franz Four Seasons Shop. We've got these little vintage, they look like they're little wooden votive holder pa uh, planters. Um, I think they're resin, I don't think they're wood. Um, because they have the blow mold and bond, they're definitely not wood. But you can see the original tag on there. So these definitely have some age to them. It's got the little plastic uh, candle rings around the bottom, but they're that they're that older, you know, the thicker plastic that's definitely from the 70s. Um, so you've got kind of a boho going, but they're red. So you're definitely in the Christmas season. And it's only 10 bucks for the pair. So it's this great little votive holder. Uh, only one still has the tag on the bottom, but they both, they're identical. They look great. $10 for the pair. You get 10 bucks, you can get them by giving me number 86. $10, number 86 for the pair of vintage votive holders with the little candle rings at the bottom. All right. This was something fun to find because a couple of the booths didn't have as much vintage for us to pull. So some of the things we pulled are just because it looked cool. So this one is a piece of wood that has been decorated with a, you know, could be a Christmas winter motif, you know, with the cardinal and the berries. Um, but it's just, you know, for the, if you're doing more of the woodland look at Christmas time, this is just a great natural piece because it's got this, I'm assuming real bark that still has the curve to it. It's just this cool looking piece with the ribbons tied onto the twine, super nice, natural, mossy look um, that, you know, I think could cover a lot of different, um, cover a lot of different um, seasons. Uh, so they're calling it bark birds. All right. So there's just one. I think there's just the one bird. So you got the cardinal, but on this decorative hanging piece of uh, uh, tree bark, it is only twelve ninety nine. Sorry, twelve ninety nine, and it is number seventy three. Twelve ninety nine, number seventy three. The the uh, tree bark uh, bird decor. All right. Next one comes out of my booth again. Uh, this is a case where, again, I ran out of space uh, as I started putting all my Christmas stuff in. And I looked at what really wasn't moving since I moved in at the beginning uh, when the shop opened in September and um, retiring a whole bunch of pieces. So a lot of these you'll actually still see the price tags on, but I've created a, a discounted price for the lot. So we're just going to rattle through them really quick. We've got a cigarette or a, a cigar box as well as a Doral cigarette tin. So it's two, you've got the Cameroon wooden cigar box, which is, which is hinged. You've got another wooden cigar box, uh, Robusto Avo, Avo Signature. Uh, that also is hinged with a little lock. So like this is the same type that uh, Quirky Haven did with a, as, a, as a handbag. You've got a camel cigarette tin uh, with the camels so is more modern. Prince Albert in a tin or Prince Albert in a can. So if anyone asks, you need to let him out. So Prince Albert in the can and the 
reserve blend Scottish mixture of tobacco. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes and tins, all of tobacchiana, all of mixed uh, age and vintage. Um, you get all seven boxes for 10 bucks. So, and I will just say one of the boxes was $6 by itself. So I just, you know, needed to make the space, moved them out. $10 for the entire set of seven boxes and tins. $10 by giving me number 18. $10, number 18 for all of the cigar and cigarette boxes and tins. All right. Okay, number 86 went to Joel. Number 86. Yeah. Went to Joel. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think Joel, that's it. I think you might be new to me, so make sure um, you send me an email because I would not have you. I don't think I have your shipping information. Yeah. And it looks like the cigar, yeah, cigar box and tin lot got really popular. And so that goes to Serendipity, Serendipity by Melanie. All right. Thank you, Melanie, for picking that up. Another item that was not vintage was, uh, but, you know, had the Christmas spirit, looked cool. It was a good price. It's this little vintage-looking peace tin. Um, to be perfectly honest, I'm not quite in the Christmas spirit. So when I saw peace, I'm like, well, where's the peace symbol? Where's, where's Vietnam? Um, so we have Christmas peace. Just a little uh, white, kind of somewhat creamy white background. Uh, artificially distressed metal sign with a little stand for peace. It is $15 and you can get that by giving me number 51. $15, number 51 for the standing peace sign, which I had never seen before. So I'd add that in. And another piece uh, coming to, uh, this is coming out of I'm Not Old, I Am Vintage. We had this little vintage uh, snowman candle holder you got a tape, taper candle holder. He's got some pretty serious weight on him, so he would be able to handle a fairly tall uh, candle. He would be able to handle a fairly tall candle. Two of these are available. Um, so if, if, if you want the pair, just give the number twice, uh, or the first two people we see, uh, the first two people we see in the chat will be able to get claim one of these. So $16.50 for the uh, candle holder. And you can get that by giving me number 40. Number 40, $16.50 for the metal candle holder. So I think that's everything. I think we just finished because they're about to kick me out. So uh, so hopefully, I uh, thank you everyone for joining the sale. If there's anything that you didn't, what's lining up behind me is the stuff that didn't sell. So I, sadly, a lot of things did not sell, which means I have to go figure out where they came from and put them back in the booth. So if you see anything hiding behind me that you want to see again, put it in the chat really quick and we can show you before I hang up. Uh, if not, make sure, uh, let's see, number 40 was the snowman candlestick. Uh, oh, Sherry Hines picks up the uh, snowman candlestick. So let me know, Sherry, if you wanted two of them, because uh, it looks like you're the only one that claimed one. So there are two available. I'm sorry, I totally did. Um, did somebody else want to see this? Somebody had mentioned it earlier. Somebody had asked about this one. So this was the planter in the shape of the carved pipe. Uh, so you've got, it's not obviously a functional pipe. You just have the planter in the middle, um, in the center. $14 was this one, and it's number 78. 78, $14 for the little planter. Um, so is there anybody, anybody else or anything else people needed to see? Um, so, all right. So if you bought from me tonight, even if you've bought from me before, please go ahead and send me an email because this is a slightly different event, uh, because the shop is going to be invoicing everything and they're going to be shipping. So I need to give all of that information to them. I have it, but if you can send it to me, it will make it'll be a little bit faster because I don't have to go digging for the information. Uh, again, if there's anything behind me you wanted to see, let me know here. Uh, if you're not seeing the live version of it, you're watching the video later, you know, some of this might still be available. So just, you know, let me know if there's anything that you missed uh, and we can try and make it available to you. Again, mark your calendars for Sunday, uh, on uh, Sunday the 5th at eight, no, Sunday the 
8th, today's the 5th, Sunday the 8th at 8 p.m. Eastern is uh, Trusty's Vintage Deep Dive. A little bit of a different deep dive. We're going to be deep diving Just One More Docks and Rescue. Uh, we'll be interviewing Dawn Schonkweiler, the founder of the rescue, and hopefully meeting some of the dogs that she's currently sheltering. Uh, and then, of course, don't miss one week from tonight, the next Trusty's Vintage Live Sale will be 100% dedicated to that rescue. 100% of the money we collect for the items sold that evening will be donated to the Just One More Docks and Rescue. Um, and also keep in mind, uh, if you watch some of my other channels or watch some of my other posts, you have the opportunity at this point, we are up to 28 mystery boxes have been donated by resellers around the country for every $5 donation you make to the Just One More Docks and Rescue. For every $5 donation you make, you will get an entry to win all 28 of those boxes. So all of the prizes will be going to one winner. So make sure you um, make sure you uh, the uh, provide the donation goes to Just One More Docks, Docks and Rescue um, at PayPal. So PayPal me PayPal dot me slash J O M D R. I'll have those notes in the notes for the channel. Uh, again, uh, put something in your contributions showing trustee or the fundraiser, so it's easier for them to tag that for an entry into the drawing. Uh, we will pull the winner during the sale next Thursday. And at this point, I probably have another 75 items to sell uh, going to um, from coming from resellers from around the country that have already shipped me things to sell to make money for this fundraiser. So I really appreciate everyone's support for this charity. Uh, appreciate Dawn supporting me, you know, in doing this as well. But this is for her. This is the hol my holiday fundraiser I do every year. It's dedicated to the dogs. Uh, so definitely join me next next Thursday. Follow me on uh, Trusty Huckster Mercantile. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, uh, Etsy, and eBay. And follow the Rustic Fox at Rustic Fox at Rustic Fox Home. Uh, and better yet, if you're ever in the Chicago area, come for a visit. So thanks a lot for your time. Thanks for uh, joining me for this evening. And thanks for putting your trust in Trusty Huckster. Everybody have a great night. Bye-bye.